Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. Tom. And we are here with part two of our exciting campaign. Uh, this is uh, in the Clan J Falcon occupation zone. Uh, the forces of the Federated Commonwealth, uh, really, really it's the Lyran Commonwealth, uh, they are going up against Clan Jade Falcon, trying to take back the planet of Alina, which is seeing some uh, civil unrest. That's and also say. some fires, apparently. Yeah, so uh, it is. Uh, so the resistance is very active on world, uh, sabotaging Clan Jade Falcon at every turn. And now the 20th Donegal Guard and Winfield's Regiment have, have made planet fall and have engaged Jade Falcon in the first battle, uh, which you guys hopefully have seen if you have not checked that video out. So tonight we pick up where that left off. Now, before I go any further, as this is a campaign, Tom, why don't we quickly take a look at the repair orders that are underway as several mechs and vehicles were destroyed slash damaged in the last uh, mission? Completely destroyed. <laughs> Just wrecked. You can thank, thank me for that. I wrecked, yeah. your, your, wrecked your forces for you. Uh, so let's take a look at that, and then we'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, we were just making the joke that that's why Dan's not here. As he he was yeah, also destroyed. He's in the repair bay. <laughs> he's in the repair bay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> getting new leg nuts. He's, he's in like this tank floating. The back to tank. He's oh, like a back to tank. <laughs> Poor Dan. Uh, no, Dan damage. Dan's fine. Uh, but I am playing the the lyric well, the tonight. Yeah. Well, he's fine in body and yeah. spirit. Maybe in mind. I'm not sure. Could be losing it. Or any of us. He won the last one though. He's feeling pretty good about that. Uh, it was it was a good win too. It was a great battle. Um, so tonight though we've got uh, we've got we've got some old time favorites. Uh, Tom, you, you brought one of your oh yeah famously painted Clan J Falcon units. Um, so it's going to be a good one. We're playing uh, area denial. So that's where we chop the board up into basically eight pizza slices. Uh, and yeah, you, you get points for control, and it's basically a board control mission. So I do have a slight numbers advantage. Uh, but you do have four bases of elementals, which are great at like holding, you know, holding down objectives and things like have that. Have we ever talked about the the ethics of elementals being able to cap? We have. We've talked about it extensively. They're, they're, the points are sort of baked in, right? Like versus like a helicopter. Well, the helicopters can't. cannot, right? Yeah, so yeah, this was that's... a big this was a big thing we talked about on Patreon, and everybody agreed. Like infantry absolutely should be able to hold stuff. I mean they okay. You know, I mean that's so what that's, that's what they're made for, right? They get you know the big mechs are running around blowing stuff up. You know they can they can hold. I mean, really, you, like, leave the infantry behind to, like, dig in and hold that position down. The helicopters can contest, so they can prevent you from controlling, but they can't control themselves. Yeah. Um, why don't we look at the forces on the uh, little 360s there. We'll give you guys a close-up of these fantastic paint jobs, uh, and then we'll be right back.
right, guys, so there they are. Very exciting. Tom, are you ready to do battle, sir? As ready as I'm ever going to be. All right, guys, stay tuned. The action's coming right up. Strike two to strike lead. We're in position and scanning. Nothing yet. Copy that. What about visuals? Any signs of life at all? Not a thing, sir. It's as dead as a mare is out here. Outrider, this is strike. We've got nothing down here. Roger. We're moving in from the southeast about two clicks out. Scanners aren't showing a thing. Trying to enhance. Wait a minute. I'm getting something. Incoming missiles! Evasive Ash, get to the woods. Outrider to Rooker, we need support in Sector Alpha 29. We have a full storm of heavies coming in hot. Bring your lance in from the north side. We'll cover your approach. Here we are on the battlefield of Alina. Uh, it is mission two. Thomas across the table. Thomas oh, Malfitz. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I cut my hair actually just for this. <laughs> uh, it's an exciting board setup here. Uh, this is uh, this is very exciting. This is a like a burned out mining facility. You know, after years of war on this torn up planet, uh, of course now it is showing the signs from lush jungle to this blasted badlands. Uh, some some chemicals. chemicals. Yeah, some sort of chemical reaction or meltdown over here. Uh, killed you know, everything. Yeah, just killed everything. Just the, the remnants of a village along this this uh, this road here. Tom, map designed by, by my eldest daughter. Very proud of that. Is it a good map design? Raising them right, Tom. Raising them right. She wanted to do a big central ridge. Very exciting. Speaking of central did you ridge. Her, did you make her draw it out first? <laughs> yes, I'm on graph paper, yeah, like yeah, the old yeah. D&D stuff. Um, Terrainify. Speaking of of D and D oh, and terrain sorry. and everything else, Terrainify guys. I mentioned them last week. I want to keep repping them. The only thing uh, I'm, this stuff is amazing. The only thing I was telling her, and the only thing I'm mad about is I can't hide elementals in there because it's in the dead zone. Unfortunately. <sighs> well, well, we'll email John. Be like, John, we need special terrain made for BattleTech where we can well, hide. No, we just elements. need to move this a little bit out so I can, I can just hide a guy in there for like the whole game. <laughs> amazing. Malthus, Malthus would not take kindly to hiding. <laughs> Like, he kills his own unit. <laughs> he just shoots like he's a commissar. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this, of course, hardware studios. We got some. We got some great stuff here. Um, so really good stuff. Yeah, that's all one of the most impressive ones too. I love. I love that thing. Yeah. Very very cool. All right. So we're ready to get started here. So Tom is uh, is still defending as as Dan won the last mission with the Federated Commonwealth forces. So he picked Area Denial. 
Uh, he picked the escalation level. I believe he picked uh, high escalation or medium, one of the two. Um, it ended up being 21 force value, I believe. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, again, Tom on that side, me on this side, uh, and Tom will lose initiative automatically on turn one. So, guys, we're going to move on, and we'll be right back at the end of turn one. And turn one, movement uh, is complete. Very exciting here. So nobody's in range, so we didn't really mark uh, everything uh, tediously, but here's basically what we've got going on. Um, so we're doing the Lance movement, right? Uh, which is an optional rule in Alpha Strike. And we've also blended in that sort of tactics concept where units get bracketed. You can read that uh, in the rules that will be released if they're not out already. It's It's concept from the destiny system uh, that we implemented. So basically my heavy lance here uh, is always going to move before Tom's lance, regardless of who wins initiative. But it, whether my medium lance or his his heavy star, like which one goes first depends on the initiative role. Um, and then the same thing in the helicopters and the elementals, like who wins, you know, determines who goes first or second. So um, I want initiative. I'll tell you what I did real quick. Helicopters are coming up the gut. Um, you know, I have the medium lance together here. I'm trying to use this big thing in the center of this hill uh, as cover. I've got some uh, mechs out here on the flank. Uh, Archer, this is a 4M. This thing is nasty. <laughs> nasty, Tom. Uh, and then the quick draw, uh, the good old 5M quick draw here uses jump jets to get through some of those uh, destroyed, you know, dead forests over there. Nightstar and Marauder, they're moving up. So, it's beautiful. That's uh, it's a, they're a nasty combination. Now, the thing I love about these particular mechs is the uh, like the titanium barrels. I like that that look. It's a very cool look. Um, also on your car. Also on all, right. I mean, that's what I was inspired from, as we as we know. So the uh, each of these lances, right? You buy them as formations as part of the campaign. They have one character in them each. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk Rooker, uh, Matthew Steiner's uh, personal character. Uh, and then this He's guy dead. is, what's that? He's very dead. He's going down. He's going down. Uh, and then this guy's wild card. He's from a, a, an earlier campaign, uh, that we did with the, with the, actually it was against Jade Falcon. Uh, these guys fought against Jade Falcon in the past. So he's upgraded. He, he was in that. He used to drive the Marauder, but he got upgraded. I was he's promoted. <laughs> he's promoted into the Night Star. Uh, so he's ready to go. I and love that mech. It's so cool. And you have two characters in your lance. I do. Malthus and the Summoner. Uh, and then Jonas Erstone? Erstone, yeah, whatever. Erstone? Erstone. Uh, yeah, he's in, the, he's in the, um, the executioner. Yeah, so both of the, so what a character gives you is basically extra secondary skill points, um, you know, guts, tactics, leadership, um, and potentially increases in skill. Um, so, long winded. Tom, tell us what you did. I moved my mechs on <laughs> the board. I moved my onto the table, yeah. yeah. Uh, so as you have a nice, nice formation there. All right, well, why don't we dive into turn yeah, two? All, all, I will say all the elementals are mounted. Okay, so. that makes sense. Meat shields. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remind me when I shoot you. What is it? Like if I roll a five? Or th is it a yeah, three plus? Five, or six, four? Is it a five, six? I think we'll have to look at we'll yeah, have to look. look. In it's between. been a while. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering, guys, what these red dice represent, so this is the center of the board. There's a nine-inch dead Wait, zone. Only picked it. It's only for patrons. Only for patrons. It'll be a mystery to everyone else. Everyone else. All right. So if you're on Patreon, you can come over. We'll tell you what this is. We'll, <laughs> put, we'll post a secret link for you. Tom, that's a good plug for Patreon. <laughs> Guys, if you want to help out the channel, come on And if on you want to know what these little dice mean. <laughs> you can come on over to Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Uh, and you can help support the channel. Also, yeah. Tom, Super Thanks is available. Yeah. It's a new feature. Very exciting. They can click Super Thanks and tip us right on the video. I was going to say, that's YouTube, right? It's or... a, well, also OnlyFans. <laughs> Is it OnlyFans? No, it's oh, okay. YouTube. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I told you I'm not doing that. That's true. Tom has less. Tom has dignity. Okay, I guys. A little bit left. Just a little bit left. All right, so. Uh, moving on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you actually didn't say. Or you did say. The dead uh, maybe zone. I did. It's a nine-inch dead zone. It's a nine-inch dead zone. So if you're so inside that, you're can't not count. capping. Yeah, you're not capping any of the slices, the pizza slices, the zones, as it were. So, guys, we are going to move on to turn two. Don't go away.
It's turn two. Action is heating up here uh, in this, this Badlands area. So let's talk about moving Tom. Tom's already planning his shots. Uh, so I lost <laughs> initiative. So I'm gonna to talk to you about what I did first. Now, over here on the left flank, I'll start left or right. The quick draw jumped again out of the woods. I mean, I could have sprinted, but I would have got to the same spot. At least here, I could have maybe taken a shot. Archer moved up. I don't think he has any any shots. Um, the This guy, Nightstar and Marauder, both sprinted. He is, he has got his, his dashboard's lit up. There's like incoming missiles and stuff. Tom already lined up a couple shots, I can tell. Um, so the, the thought pattern here, guys, is, you know, on this diagonal here, I've got people in this quadrant. I've got people in this quadrant. I've got people in this quadrant. I've got people in this quadrant, right? Because this trebuchet is now over the line. So this medium lance is sort of fanning out. Griffin and trebuchet walked. Uh, warriors moving up, uh, backed up by the Wolverine and the Phoenix Hawk. The Warriors are gonna be the only ones that can shoot. They're gonna actually sight down that Executioner, uh, put a couple points of damage on him, perhaps. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Tom. Yeah. Regalus. Um, I moved my mechs up the board. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, uh, I realized like it wasn't worth sprinting the Executioner, he had you know, all these guys have more than three inches of woods, so they couldn't shoot, but I was like, oh, he's only at, like, when I sprinted, he was only at once, I was like, oh, I can walk him, you know, and I can still be able to shoot out. Might as well take a pot shot at something. Might as well. Um, same thing, just to sort of scare you a little bit. And then these guys, I also realized... They do 12 points of damage at extreme range. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so good. Overheat long, no big yeah, deal. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, so, um, they both sort of came around, and they have a good line mm. on the Night Star. To again, just sort of scare them from encroaching upon our nest, our nest, our nest area. So, how many quadrants, Tom, do you have? You have, two. I see one, two. The vultures in a in this one, like this back, like if you if you drew a diagonal, right? He's on uh -huh. that side of it. The timber wolf, I think, is on, on yeah. the other side of the diagonal. So you have two there, and then here, though, I think you so you have three. Uh, it looks like you have three. Um, he's kind of in the next one. Is he? All right. He might be on the line, which is dead zone, right? Uh, Did we ever uh, yeah, figure think, that out? Yeah, he probably. Might actually, we'll go to, it's, it is explicitly called out in the mission, I believe. Uh, if you're in more than one, it doesn't count as being in any. Yep. So he might be stuck on the line. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll check that at the end of the turn, depending on if any of my forces are still alive. Um, so I'm going to start shooting. Uh, we're going to kick it off with these guys. These guys were the MVPs of last time, Tom. They absolutely just wrecked me. Dan was masterfully using them. I wish he was here to provide insight on what I should do with them. But yep. they're both going to shoot that executioner. Now you're basically two and a half inches into the woods. I am. So it's plus one inch, or plus one target number per inch rounded up. So 2.5 round up is three. Anything over three you can't see. So you're still, we're all still good. So I'll have, I'll have a plus three to shoot you. Oh, I get a plus I get, three yeah. to shoot me. All right. So I'm at skill three. Your TMM is two, that's a five. And then six, seven, eight, it's woods. That's just to start. I'm starting with an eight. Can you measure the range between those choppers and the execution? 21. Oh, you already did it, 21? Okay. okay. Let me double check. I, can't I, I think it was long range. As 17. Well. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, long range, that's, that's what I remember. So they each do one point of damage, Tom. Um, mm -hmm. so, so long range is plus three. So what did I say, eight, nine, ten, I need 11s, is that right? Three, six, Five. nine, ten, eleven, yeah. yeah. Looking for elevens, here we go. Missiles are flying, sailing into the woods. Oh, close. We'll do your math again, make sure it's on a ten. Nah, it's not a ten, it's an eleven. All right, so the missiles slam into trees, wood, dead wood splintering around that executioner, uh, but no go. So, uh, you're up next. What are you shooting, sir? Where do you want to start? Um... I'll go with the hard shot first. Okay. Again, the executioner is just going to take a pot shot at um, uh, the Phoenix Hawk. What's his name? Um, Matt. Matt. Ruc Rucker. Yeah, Rucker. All right. Darius Rucker from the Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Which one's the Blowfish? Is this the Blowfish? Oh my God! Have you ever seen that skit? Which one? There's a Key and Peele. Oh, the Key and Peele. Yeah, yeah. So He's like, it's I don't Darius now. I do country now. Yeah, do right? country now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's skill two. Right. Yeah, he's skill two. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11s. You need 11s as yeah. well. I figured yeah. as much. <clears throat> you need so, 11s as well. 
But he's got the luck of the stone. Now, wait a minute. How much damage does he do, though, at long range? Doesn't he do, like, 20? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. He does four. Right, so you're going to do one pilot die and then four of the green die. Oh. Right? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what game are we playing, though? Yeah, we're do, well, the last out. time we did it, we were to your point, to your in your defense, we just did the two d six for all damage, but we're going back to the the pilot die with the multiple damage. So right. just for the campaign, just for the campaign, okay? Because we don't have like thirty six units on the table. Yeah, add a little more variability into life. So you need elevens. Here it comes. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Okay. So no good there. Now uh, you have a timber wolf looking yeah, I got at these guys. So. Both of them are going to shoot at the, the Night Star. All right. Um, are they at extreme or long range? They are at... Well, that's a good... I already forgot. I'm pretty sure they're at like 25, so they're at extreme. Yeah. 27, 25. Okay. okay. Um, so that's a good thing for me. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do tons of damage. So um, three, five... So I'll start with the Vulture. Nine. The Vulture's skill three, so he's at a five. <sighs> so it's a nine. Yeah. I think you need nines for both is what I got as well. Yeah, that makes sense. They all seem to be pretty similar. Oh my I goodness. All right, so missiles slam in. First blood has been drawn. One point of damage on the Night Star. Yeah. And then um, the Timber Wolf does three, and I'm going to overheat long one. Yeah. So for a big roll. Never going to happen with that. Oh, that's tough. That's yeah. a tough one. Wow. That's might, might be time to switch that one out. Uh, so guys. Oh my god. Oh boy, Tom. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta use Retired. that. Retired. Retired. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. So smart no, play. No good for that. Smart play. Um, okay, so, by the way, guys, I, I know a lot of errata has recently come out, uh, for Alpha Strike. If there is an errata that I missed on Overheat Long interacting with Extreme Range, leave it in the comments let us know. I, I think it applies. It's the, it's the way we play. It's the way we're going to continue to play for the whole campaign. Um, but, such is life. Yeah, I wish you had the laser up, but I'm pretty sure that Nova's stuck in, in dead, dead zone. Dead, dead yeah. zone? All right. And actually, well, the oh, he's he's out of it. He's okay. He's out of it. But, whew, close. All right. Well, listen, we will uh, we'll check all that stuff, and then we'll be right back with turn three. Action is moving along. Here we are, Malthus in the woods, making his advance here against these inner sphere Surats. I think that's what they call them. Surats, yeah. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't speak clan. Uh, so, uh, Tom rolled, Tom rolled boxcars, boxcars on initiative. Double sixes, guys. Of all places to use it. I know, of all, of all places to burn your luck. But, uh, so you want initiative, that means I had to move all my stuff first. Uh, so my helicopter split up. Yeah. Um, this guy over here, this guy in the center region looking at the uh, Timberwolf using this rock formation as cover. Uh, Rooker moving up to the central region as well. Uh, might have some shots on the right, might have some shots on the left. Uh, the rest of the medium lance in tow, the trebuchet dug in, ready to lay down some LRM fire on that Nova. Wolverine advancing, Griffin backing him up. Over here on my left flank, the quick draw sprinting in, looking to start pressuring uh, Tom's rear quadrants as it were. <laughs> Put some pressure on your rear, Tom. You uh, fell, fell for that. <laughs> You're gonna, that guy's gonna get slammed. Well, that's a quick draw, nobody cares. I mean, if you if you have a guy like in your unit and you don't like him. He's a quick draw. Yeah, he's either that or a hunchback. Sick for him. Uh, so. But it looks so cool. Yeah. Okay, you, you take it then. You take it then. Quick draw does look cool. And actually, this is a 3D print, but the new one uh, I've seen, you know, the they had. I think they had it at Gen Con. Maybe, maybe not. But I've seen renders of it. Looks awesome. Very thrilled. Doesn't a lot mean. of these classic mechs are also getting the uh, Wave Two esque treatment. Uh, very excited about that Kickstarter. Anyway, the Night Star took a few steps back to isolate the Vulture, but now has no line of sight on anything. The Marauder boldly stepping up. Tom maneuvering. He's gonna get. Uh, he's gonna get hurt. So I've got to get the Archer and the Night Star in the fight. Tom doing a very good job of using his maneuverability. 
uh, hoping that the Marauder can weather the storm here. This is uh, an older variant, so it means more pips, no XL engine. So that's what I did. Tom, what about you? XL engines are for clanners. Yeah, it's my XL engine. Um, yeah, so on my left flank, uh, mouth is moving up to be able to shoot out of the woods and get shot at. The Nova moving out of the woods, trying to get down and over. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. And then the executioner getting out of the woods, taking you know cover around here, just to, again sort of isolate the side, yeah. protect our side from here. These guys, you know, the uh, timber wolf was like up here, yeah. but there wasn't really a good place to move them, so I just moved them back a little bit to block those guys and yeah. isolate the marauder for these two bad boys to. Get some shot. That's typical clan fashion. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure how it's breaking yet. That's the thing. Well, um, yeah, I mean, you never know until the dice fall and people start dying, yeah. um, which hopefully will happen real soon. So, so you shoot first? I shoot first. It's true. Come on, Greedo. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the, um, the the trebuchet. Trebuchet has shots on the uh, Nova. Now, that is going to be long range, uh, and the trebuchet at long range here does two points of damage, Tom. Two points of damage. So skill three. Your TMM is two, that's a five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh. Close. Oh. God, so close, so close, so close, so close. All right, the warrior's up next. Now, the warrior is at uh, medium range to that Nova. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, I need sevens. Got it. Oh. So one point of damage on that Nova. Now, does the Nova have elementals? Does not? No. Okay. Uh, Wolverine also going to fire at the Nova. Now this is going to be a long range shot. I believe the Wolverine is just one pip at long. I don't have all these ones committed to memory yet. So, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eights. Here we go. Got it. Got it. If you one more pip. Got it. Got it. So that's good. Almost a through armor critical. Ooh. Now the Griffin at extreme range to the Nova. Um, the Griffin does one point at extreme range. Three, four, five. I'm gonna need nines. Here we go. Any cover up the hill or no? He's pretty. He's you pretty know, tall. Uh, he's a tall man. He, yeah, I, I, I didn't actually look. Let me take a look. You know, I can see his knees. Yeah. If you can see his. You knees. know what? I'm gonna give him cover. I'm gonna give him because he's a pretty squat mech. It's. All, I'm feeling. I'm feeling generous. Maybe he's squatting. Didn't, didn't need more. it, Tom. There yeah. you go. Look, I'm a gentleman, and I was rewarded. So another pip of damage to that Nova. Uh, so not a bad opening salvo from the medium lance here uh, with, with some support from that uh, warrior. Now, we're going to shoot at this timber wolf next. Mm -hmm. um, can you do me a kindness uh, and measure, measure Yeah, from this region here? So what do we got? 25, 24, 22. Okay, what about the warrior to the vulture? Is it 21? 24. All right, so the, vulture, oh, the warrior can't shoot anybody because it does not have extreme range. However, the other two guys, um, they are capable of hitting at extreme range. Now, the um, the Phoenix Hawk, skill two, three, four. I need eights. All right, so one pip to the Timberwolf. Uh, they uh, both then... have elementals. Um, so five or six that hits the elementals. It was just one point of damage. Oh. All right, so the element what? Pew! Uh, one of the elementals is dead. Now, my Marauder, skill three, four, five, also at extreme range, I need nines to hit. Here we go. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. That was, that was horrific. All right, so, uh, that's that. That is my shooting phase, Tom. I don't think... You know what I should have done? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, my archer, can you measure from the archer to the timber wolf for me? Sure. Probably extreme. Yeah. Like 28. Okay. So I'm going to have the, the warrior spot for the archer. Now it's at extreme range. So extreme range is always your long range minus one. So we reduce the IF value by one. So he's normally IF3, it goes down to IF2 at extreme range. That's just how we roll. Okay. It might make sense, because it's always your, your long range minus one. Sure. Uh, so, basically, he's skill three. Four, five. 
Is your team M1 or two? It's two. One. Oh no, really? I don't think I, I don't think it mattered. I think Oh I think, no, it is two. It is two. He doesn't lose TMM until heat two. Yeah. Yeah. I misread. He just loses an inch of movement. Yeah, okay. So it wouldn't have mattered anyway, actually. Um Okay, so three, four, five, nine, ten. I need tens. It's a Hail Mary, but you know, whatever. Tens aren't that bad. Close, you got one. It's a, and it's a through armor critical time. Yeah. Okay. All right, so one point of damage, guys, and a potential through armor critical here. So I need to roll 2d6. There is a table, uh, and I will tell you what it is. Here we go, ready? Fives or nines, what you want. I want twos and twelves. That's an engine hit. That is delightful. That is delightful. All right, so that is uh, that was a nice little uh, finishing salvo there from the Winfield's regiment. Now, I am done shooting. Okay. You may go. You may retaliate. Yeah, so the Nova's going to go against that guy. Was that a, a griffin? Is that that uh, that's the Wolverine. Wolverine. And you know, the other thing, I, I want to mark this real quick, is this. He's going to have to make a piloting check at the end of the turn. Yeah. Which we'll deal with later. So the Noble, I remember these guys are at long range, I think, right? Uh, that is correct. 15, yeah. Okay, so he's uh, piloting three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight. So eight eights. is the hit. Okay. It does do damage, yep. Ooh, okay, oh, so wow. it's all three. Triples down on that Wolverine. So Wolverine automatically out of the gate, does need to take a piloting check at the end of this phase. I'm gonna mark off three points of damage. How's that feel uh, for sweet retaliation, Tom? Uh, not great yet. We'll see. <laughs> uh, ask again later. Yeah. With the magic eight ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The executioner will go next. The big, um, the big green over there. Yeah, yeah. He'll fire, and he's in long as well. Okay. Um. So he does four points. Okay. He's skill two though, so he should be hitting on sevens, I think. Okay. Uh. So two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So Holy all but one, crap. so he gets another three. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, so another three points of damage that Wolverine is stripped. Okay. He's gonna be at minus two, Tom, uh, to his piloting. And then, um, hurts to use the summoner against him. He's got some, he's, I mean, he's got three pips, you could totally- That's true, yeah, so I'm gonna do that, yeah. So the summoner will fire at him too. And I think they're at medium. They're at medium, yeah. Yeah, okay. So he'll do four. Okay. At medium. And um, he's one inch in right through the woods. Uh, so, correct, yeah. So, so you're going to get three, a plus one, four, five, six, seven. So you need sevens. All right, so sevens here. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. So you get wow, just, just the one. However, it still is a critical hit time. Mm. Uh, so you can roll 2d6 on the critical hit table. A seven, so that's a motive hit. <laughs> uh, so this Wolverine may be falling down, we'll see. Uh, so he takes a point of structure. Uh, now half his structure rounded up. I think, he, I think he's in force withdrawal, actually. Oh, because he um, only has three points? Because he only has three pips, right? That's how, that, that's how yeah, that works. Yeah. Right? We talked extensively about it. It's that. crazy, right? Because you divide by two, round up. That means if he has two pips left, he's in force withdrawal. Yeah. All right. So his movement is halved. Which, like, that's one. So TMM is two. reduced by half as well. Uh, and he's going to have a trouble, a troublesome piloting check to make. All right. So strong opening salvo there uh, from that, that left flank. Yeah. But you still have somebody contesting. And then uh, the last one will just be the fire, the shots at the Marauder from these two guys. Okay. Um, this scares me a little bit because I do I do like them. I'm very fond of this Marauder. Yeah, that's a good Marauder. Um, Marauder. I'll start with the Timberwolf because it'll be the hard shot. Okay. So um, he hasn't taken his, his effect yet from the... Uh, Correct. Not, yeah. not taking the hit, but he does have the minus one from the heat. Yeah. So basically he's like right. skill four with the heat penalty. Yeah, so he'll overheat one again. Oh boy. And just, just so you know, yeah. you will take a point of heat at the end of the turn from the engine hit. When okay. he's at three points of heat, he will need to make a, basically like a guts check where mm -hmm. the pilot can take damage because yeah. it gets, it's like very hot. Oh. He doesn't care? He doesn't care. He, didn't get he just took the heart. He just took such a shot. 
He, I yeah. mean, it's, you're such a. This is why you are the best clan player. I'll play. <laughs> so he's at, I don't mess around. <laughs> yeah, he's at extreme, so he'll do four. Um, we should like buzz a jade falcon into the side of your head. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Like it's just a stencil. Yeah, it'd be um, so good. Yeah. So um, he's skill three, four, and four is eight. Eight. And then I'm a nine for the heat. Okay. So here we go. Nine. So doesn't count. Okay. Get some retribution, my timber wolf. I feel it. Oh wow! No. I got. I thought it was gonna land all of them. I saw that six pop. Yeah, I did too. Now, are you sure four, five? Um, Don't you need eights or word extreme range? Yeah, eights. Oh my god! Yeah, you're right. We need nines. That's tough. Nine. That's tough. Let me think about that again. He's three, four, five for the heat. Eight, nine. Yeah. So nine for the heat. All right. I thought it was eights. Um, next up, the vulture. So, uh, I think he's also at extreme. Yeah. Uh, so he'll do three points. Um, okay. And he's this three, four, so he's at eights. Eights, okay. There he is. One so point. one pip to that Marauder. That Marauder dodged some literal bullets uh, this round. However, the Wolverine, not quite out of the woods yet here. So, did I fire with the Nova? You did. You like wrecked. You I did. For okay. All three so I points. I I yeah. Started with him. yeah. Okay. Great. I started with him. Okay. Yep. So that's so the end of my turn. Everything shot. Now the question is. I need to take a piloting for the. Uh, well, wait a minute. You know. You know what we didn't do, which someone is going to leave a comment and be like, "Why didn't you do this?" We didn't roll the damage against the timber wolf and check to see if the elementals were hit. Here we go. Five or six that hits the elementals. Tom, it hits the elementals. <laughs> all right, so undo undo that engine hit, all right? I haven't taken the heat yet, so. You haven't taken the heat yet, but undo that engine hit, that's big. I wouldn't take that, I wouldn't have done the overheat long. It's so much to remember. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay. So, but he has a piloting check, you have a piloting check. I think that's it. Uh, he doesn't have a piloting check, because he only oh. took. Yeah. Be gone, foul. The, no the Nova has a piloting check. From taking three points? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the, the Timberwolf goes up. Let's recap. The Timberwolf goes up to two points of heat. Right, because he did yep. overheat. So he's at two points of heat. That's definitive. Did you mark his elementals with a point of damage? I his, did not. His elementals take that point oh, of Oh, you know what I actually marked who did? The Timberwolf. No, wait. Yeah. Then... You fought, you shot him twice. Shot That's him. why. Shot him twice. Oh, so his elementals had no more armor. I guess I shot him twice. That's what we're going to say. I'm not going to go back at the film and look. Um, yeah, I definitely don't remember you rolling. There's no way. Yeah. Because that was the beginning of the turn. That was, who was it? It was the indirect fire, wasn't it? And that was the last thing I did. I think the Marauder shot him too. The Marauder shot him. The Phoenix Hawk shot him. But One who of these got the guys armor? The, the indirect fire. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. We definitely didn't roll for that. That's yeah. the one that matters. The rest of them, whatever. Yeah. It's all, it's all, it's all inconsequential. Okay, so let's make a roll for the Nova. Now, he yeah. is skill three, so you need to roll a four or less. There, Guts. I mean, I'm sorry. You need to roll a four or better. Yeah. Guts doesn't matter here. Just so. pure, like, can I stand up? All right, you're fine. Uh, I, however, have a much harder time here. So I'm skill three. I took six, I actually took seven points of damage, but it's, you know, every three points. So I'm gonna basically three, four, five, and then my TMM was reduced because I took a motive hit, which is another plus two. So I need a seven, all right? Oh, woo, look yeah, at that. He, he, he wants that. to stay in this fight. Dude, he just like yeah. backflipped at a round off. He's like, check me out, stomp in the yard. Isn't that what they do? And the kids do that these days? Or is that like, was that the 90s? I don't even know. See that I have no idea. I don't remember. Yeah. We're so old. Um, okay, so that's done. That's done. Everybody's still on their feet. Let's see. I have four quadrants. Do you have four quadrants? You still have four. Yeah. Okay, so nobody gets any primary objective points. Now, my Wolverine is in forced withdrawal. That's big. Um, he needs to make a morale check, Tom. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's base eight. He has no critical hits. Oh, he does have a critical hit. Sorry. He does. Yeah. So eight, nine, and then his guts is one. So he's basically got to get an eight or better. You've been rolling good. Oh. oh. All right. So he stays standing only to run away. 
That was his only motivation for saying <laughs> He was up. like, I am yeah. not falling down. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. So next turn, because he failed his morale, that means I need to sprint with him uh, back towards the table uh, edge. Unless speed, right? I choose to spend a point of leadership to have him automatically rally, which I may do. i got to think about that. So um, that's that, guys. We're wrapping up turn three, going into turn four. Don't go away. Exciting. So, and by exciting, I mean I lost initiative for the fourth time in a row, or third time in a row, I guess, technically. The only time I won was when I automatically won on turn one. So, I'll talk about what I did here, uh, and then we'll get right into the shooting. Uh, of course, Tom, you can tell us your strategy, which is uh, which is good, I think. So, I used a leadership point to rally the, the Wolverine. I mean, doesn't have a lot of long range, and if he's out of the fight, he's out of the fight, which looks like now he's out of the fight. So, I rallied him. If he doesn't get shot, he doesn't need to test again, so I'll just move him back one inch and hopefully he'll be able to do something. Now, this warrior over here on the far right flank is contesting uh, that back slice of pizza. Uh, the trebuchet stationary was hoping to get a missile lock on something. His plan max disappearing uh, into the fog and smog of that, uh, that dead forest. Uh, Griffin basically just shuffling around here, not doing a whole lot. Um, the Phoenix Hawk, however, making moves uh, in the dead zone currently, but was hoping to put some fire on the Timberwolf, for pressure at least, uh, but that didn't quite work out. Uh, Warrior, currently at level 6, um, so this is a 3 level hill here, level 1, level 2, level 3, uh, so it is 3 levels above this, this top level is basically what that means, so level 6 from the ground. Um, so he's still behind those rocks, might be able to see the Timberwolf, I don't know, I gotta get over there and see. I have very limited line of sight here, the quick draw uh, coming around that reactor stack, pressuring now this, uh, this quadrant over here, facing down that vulture. Uh, the archer might be able to draw a line of sight, I'm not sure, we have to see. So that's kind of what I've got going on, Tom. Doesn't quadrant mean four? Whatever, zone. Yes, it does. Oct octrate? Like, what do you call it? What do you call it? Called a pizza slice. Noctrin. I don't know. Noctrin. I don't know. Um, yeah, I I was hoping to have a little bit more structure on this side. Okay. The idea was that they had jumps. I was going to jump up and surprise you and uh -huh. decimate you, but did not work out. Um, <laughs> uh, I was out of position. I thought it would be another turn before you started trying to move in, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so I pulled the executioner back to just basically decimate that guy um, okay. if I can and um, give him cover. He's back in the woods now. Um, and then the, the Nova, I jumped him in. He's completely in the woods for the moment. And then the Summoner taking up his position on the side, again, completely blocked from any mechs, but he'll be able to shoot at this guy. Oh, and the, over that, yeah. On this side, you know, again, the idea was to show a weak front to, to pull you over here. It worked, but also I haven't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capitalize on it or not. We'll see. Um, I yeah, don't I don't. I don't think it's gonna work. Um, we'll see. But yeah, so the vulture was like here, which was too much. So I pulled him back, so I could isolate again him. It was smart. Yeah, I don't. I don't um, know. I, I haven't gotten down to the table yeah. yet. I think the archer can see him. Definitely nothing else. Yeah. And so uh, and then the timberwolf. The, uh, the idea this turn was to hide him and bleed the heat off. Okay. So it kind of works out anyway because he was very exposed. Sure. So, give him a break for a turn. Okay. And see what happens. So. Yeah. Well, that reversal of the engine hit was huge. I mean, that that could have been, and it's it is funny. I was thinking about it as we were moving. Like, I would have suicided him, but yeah. Well, it's just like one dice roll changes the whole game. Like you yeah. get a, a lucky critical hit, and especially like, an engine hit. You're you screwed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, engine yeah, hits are really are. They're brutal. brutal. They are brutal. Um, so yeah, that's that's what happened. And so you know, again, I already called out what I'm going to shoot. I think, and that's okay. about it. All right. Not a lot. So do me a favor. Um, can this Phoenix Hawk and this warrior here in the center from your point of view can they see anything over there i'm not i'm not sure well he's at level can. six so it doesn't matter right 
Well, no, he, he's basically where he is, you know, like three inches above. Well, yeah, he um, can. Um, I don't think he. I don't think they can see anything. Uh, I, th I think the helicopter can. Can see the the timber wolf enough of them with some cover maybe. So we got down. We 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 got down to a pretty low level. So yeah. warrior can see. There is cover involved. Yeah. Um, Phoenix Hawk cannot see. Yeah. Archer can see. Quick draw can see. The vulture. Nothing can see over here. These three are out of the fight. Uh, I might be able to do some indirect fire somewhere. I'm not sure. And then that warrior over there can see Malthus, and that's about it. Okay. So I'm going to start here with the warrior on Malthus. Uh, it's one point of damage. They're at medium range. So he's three, four, five, six for the woods, and then seven, eight for range. Three, four, five, yep. Nothing. Okay. Um, next up here is going to be the quick draw into the vulture. Now, Tom, I think we said they're at medium range. Is that right? Quick draw into the vulture. I now should check. I will check. Maybe we didn't check. We were too, we were too preoccupied. Ten so. inches. Yep. Okay. So it's two points of damage. Uh, quick draw is skill three. This lovely painted vulture here is team M2. So that's a five. I need sevens, Tom. One point it's of damage. Gotta land in there. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. There you go. One point of damage. Uh, so one point of damage. Oh, you gotta roll for the elementals. Oh, good call. Okay. So five or six that hits the elemental. Man, I am. Will you stop? I am just hitting. shooting elementals off these mechs. Like, you're like one of those uh, like uh, fancy shooters. I'm gonna shoot that quarter out of here. Yeah. All right. So this archer four M is up next. Now this guy. Is at long range to the vulture. He does four points of damage. Do I get coverage? Uh, you do get cover. So he is skill three. It's a she fire cat, actually, is the pilot's name, but not unfortunately not a named character nice. uh, in this campaign. So three. You said nine? Okay. Three. Basically six. I mean not. You nailed it. Alright, here we go. I'm good at basic math. Oh no! Time. Did you see it flip? It was on the six and it didn't want to go. Just one point of damage. Could have been two with a through armor yeah. critical. Uh, yes, elemental roll. Nothing. Oh. So this one actually hits the mech. Could you imagine it was another through armor, through armor critical and it hit the stupid elemental? <laughs> we actually didn't look up to see what happens. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna check on that. Um, okay, the Night Star cannot shoot. The Marauder cannot shoot. Phoenix Hawk cannot shoot, but that warrior is gonna shoot the Timberwolf. Uh, we're at long range. It's one point of damage. Uh, the Timberwolf has a TMM of one, because it's sprinted, and two for cover, so three, five, I got it. So Tom, the Timberwolf takes another point of damage, rolling for elementals. All right, hits the Timberwolf this time. Okay. Okay. Now. <sighs> that's it. That's all, that's all the mighty Lear and Commonwealth can do. Uh, so we will be right back with Jade Falcon. Uh, just gonna mark some damage and we will be right back. All right, so we did just look up the rule. Um, yeah, so when when an, when an, a unit does not suffer the effects of criticals, they take an extra point of damage. Okay, so, so there, there we are. applied one more damage to my right. elemental, which took an internal Yeah, basically we put it, put it in force withdrawal. Um, so it did have to make a morale check passed and passed now technically they will thought that at the end of this turn we'll let them disembark and move you know they have to move an inch back basically it's um, interesting that yeah. they it's, have to disengage they're like ah i know he's like no stay with me stay with me you're my you're my uh what's the thing when people bring their dogs on planes <laughs> the, oh my god support animals support yeah emotional su support emotional support yeah the ele emotional support elementals yeah <laughs> there should be a t-shirt that'd be oh a really my good god dude so good um, um, yeah. Okay. So I'll start with the vulture into mm -hmm. the quick draw. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So they're in medium right. So they are in medium range. This is scary. Is. Now the vulture can overheat. Not I know. I wanna, um, not that I want to. There's hands. too much pressure to overheat. I think. I think that's. Oh um, yeah. That's what I say about overheat long. Oh my god. How many dice have you dropped tonight, Tom? That's the third time. Yeah. He does overheat too, though. So I mean, how many points does that go? Ten. Five and five. Yeah, so it's not worth it. Yeah. Um, he's a, he's pretty he's pretty well armored, and I like it because it's a refit for the thirty fifty era, but it doesn't put an XL engine in it, so it doesn't yeah. suck. So he's a two. 
Mm -hmm. So it's a five, six, seven. So okay. seven to hit. Oh, snap, oh. through armor critical, four points of damage. Yikes. An eight, Tom. Oh my god, devastating. That is a weapon hit. That is absolutely brutal. All right, okay. so this quick draw, four points of damage and a weapon hit. Okay, so yikes, guys, that really hurts. All right, so Tom, what do you got next? Um, the executioner into the quick draw. Executioner can see the quick draw? Yeah, I put him there specifically to shoot at him. Okay. So he's got com complete clear line of sight too. Well, he's shooting through some woods, no? Uh, yeah, I'll be shooting through an inch of woods. Okay. I guess. All right, every yeah. inch counts, Tom. Yeah, so he's at extra range. So, yeah. All right. Fair enough. So three points. Um, he's two, so I'll add three, okay. four, five, yeah. and nines. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. The clan Jade Falcon speaketh. <laughs> Another three. Do you dislike this quick draw? I guess so. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you eight. have two critical hit rolls because I'm already you just okay. went internal as well. So the first one is an eight. Here's the bad news. No even more. though he's not, even though he is not in force withdrawal by structure, he has no. He can't do any damage. That puts him in force withdrawal. Because I took away all of his. And no more medium range okay. damage or short range damage. The second critical is a no. motive hit. Yeah. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Now he's got to make a piloting check at minus four this turn. Uh, minus two for the motive hit. Yeah. Uh, yikes, dude. Oh, okay. that's freaking brutal, Tom. Tom, that's brutal. It's killer. Weapon hit, motive hits. This is, this is bad. I'm going to mark this guy up. All right. So nice. you are retaliating. So yeah. retaliation. Came in too hot. Did I? Nah, it's, it's exactly it's just wave one of Lear and Steel. I mean, like seeing the wave of the just the mech swarm, it I was pretty terrified. That's got... bad news though, because now you control this quadrant, mm -hmm. you jerk. Yeah, and I'm hoping to kill him and yeah. Okay. We'll see. Well let's see what so happens. The summoner, um, they're in medium, right? So four. Okay, two through armor criticals. That is freaking nuts. I, I keep mixing up my dice. I don't remember. You don't know which one's hot. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's legal. Yeah. So um, so four damage at medium. So I'm in one inch. So it's a three, um, and then that's seven, eight, nine. So okay. Nine. I need two pips. Not gonna get it with that. Man, the warrior. <laughs> The warrior is up. Now, the and TMM, a, the TMM uh, already incorporates his bonus for being a VTOL, so he is just humming along, ducking and weaving as uh, missiles and autocannons and PPCs come flaring in. And that's it. So Jade Falcon is done shooting. The Commonwealth is done shooting this quick draw, uh, you know, on breach duty, going around the corner here, just gets absolutely obliterated by a vulture and then caught in an unexpected, cr unexpected crossfire from that executioner. That was a smart move. Now, I would have been cool if I jumped him up like I wanted to, but whatnot. Uh, well, you know, he only jumps like three, right? I no, no, he jumps four, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah just four. four. That's so he so could have got up here. But then I, everybody looked, oh, look at that, a giant neck on a hill. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm right. I, I would have gotten six drama criticals like you. Yeah, exactly. One can only one. dream. One can only dream. Um, okay, so <laughs> check it out. He is skill three, uh, four, five, because he took three points of damage twice, and then six, seven for the mode of hit. Okay, so here's what we need. This is what, the fall? This is the fall down. I stay, st stay standing to run away. Uh, now he needs to make his morale check, Tom. So his morale check, he has uh, he has a critical hit. He doesn't have an engine hit, so his base is basically at a nine, and then his guts is one, so he needs an eight. Eight or better. Come on. Come on, quick draw. Hang in the fight, baby. Good. There you yes. Go. All right. Got it. That's big. It's big. That's big to keep it's... pressure. I mean, he can't. He yeah. still can't contest or whatever, but at least he's not running away like a pansy. Okay. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with pansies. So, it's a beautiful flower. I got guys in both of these. Yeah. Octoplets. Octrants. Octoplets. Octomom. But unfortunately. I don't think I even have anybody in this quadrant. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. We do have the space laser, Tom. Uh, I mean, I can, I, you can. I mean, you can see it. Just don't, just don't point it at my eyes. Don't hit the ceiling. 
<laughs> not on my not on my ass. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. No, yeah. Malthus is in it. Oh, he is. Okay, but then the Nova is in the middle. The so Nova. Is, so you have the Doesn't Executioner really and Malthus. Yeah. So I have those two. Uh, and then and I have then him and him. But the warrior's contesting against Malthus. He is. Yeah. So that's how. So that's how. You don't get that him. slice. Yeah. Now I have one. This back one. Mm -hmm. I have two. Mm -hmm. The Wolverine. I have three. Mm -hmm. With this guy, I have four with the archer. Yeah, I think I have three. And so. you have three, so that means the Commonwealth uh, does get one primary objective point. However, Tom has put two of my mechs in forced withdrawal, uh, so they're hanging on by a thread still. I have not really done substantial damage to you. It was close with the, with the Timberwolf, but nothing doing. So we'll see what happens. That Timberwolf is going to be fresh on heat coming out, ready to go, turn five. This is the turn of death. It's coming right up. Turn five, we're just putting down the final markers here. Lots of thinking going on. Uh, so some key things, just to recap, that quick draw did rally, so he was able to just move back one inch. Uh, he didn't have to turn around and sprint away, which is you know always problematic. Um, shockingly, guys, I lost initiative to Tom, the master. Uh, you're on fire tonight. Yeah, and the initiative's been going good. It's been going good for you. Um, so the, the Night Star moving up here, I, Tom has been doing a great job of, of, you know, preventing this mech from getting in the fight, but I'm trying now to use it to steer him a little bit. Um, so keeping, I, you know, like, I, like, hey, I got this firing lane, I know he's not going to be there, right? So that gave me some free run on a couple of my mechs. Um, I moved the Archer down. Archer's still in this quadrant here. The Marauder is now over the line where the quick draw was in this slice back here. Um, Phoenix Hawk is holding steady. I didn't want to do anything with the Phoenix Hawk. Um, Understand. Um, yeah, so this actually, it's actually, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta change this out to stationary. Um, so the Phoenix Hawk was just holding steady. I don't think it has line of sight to anything. Um, the Wolverine, the Trebuchet, the Wolverine pulled back a little bit, Trebuchet moved up a little bit. They're still in this, you know, this slice over here, basically. And then the Griffin uh, moved a little bit over in this slice here. Uh, and the Warrior going way up the board, uh, both of them being very being very brave. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Tom, what's going on on your side? Um, <clears throat> pulled everybody back to hide them from the big guns. My hope, <clears throat> I'm going to target him with both mechs uh, this turn. Try to cripple him, if possible. I, I disembarked both sets of elementals. One is enforced withdrawal, but um, yeah, he can still shoot, right? So he can still shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So the, I disembark both of them to take shots at the oh, at the warrior. Yeah. Okay, very so nice. I'll do two at him, two at him. Okay. The um, executioner still covering the side. Going to try to take some pot shots at your marauder. Okay. Um, here I sort of again deployed Malthus's elementals to take some shots at the guy and put them in position to either secondary shoot at him if I fail, or take some shots down in the trebuchet. Yeah, and try to right. get rid of him as well. Right. Very good. So well, that's... <clears throat> it looks like I start shooting, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start out here uh, with the trebuchet. Uh, what, one quick thing, we were just talking. The Phoenix Hawk did move, it just shuffled, so he does get his TMM. I, didn't, we, I remember we had this conversation off camera and I couldn't remember where we landed, but we just rehashed it. So yes, he's got his TMM. Um, 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 there's litigation, so we can't talk about it on camera. <laughs> it's currently it's suing Aaron America, about right? <laughs> attorney client privilege. <laughs> yeah. um, we both we both got lawyers. <laughs> it's a big deal. Uh, this is an important game. Uh, <laughs> if if you lose this game, Tom, it's over. It's not over, but it's gonna be Jade Falcon's gonna be hard pressed uh, to come back and and reclaim Alina and push these uh, these Lyrans off world. But if you win, it's it's a big deal. So. Trebuchet firing up at the Nova. Um, so we are at long range. 
Uh, I am going to get two points of damage, I believe, with a trebuchet long range. Yes. Cards, cards. Uh, look, how many times? So many cards. Uh, so two. Uh, so he's basically skill three. So five, six for the woods. Uh, not, as I need nines, right? Okay. Here we go. It's doable. It is totally doable. That's the dangerous. Oh, part. We're not doable. Okay. Not doable. Uh, we're talking about the shop. I, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah. So the Wolverine at long range gonna fire up at the um, at the Nova. It's one so point of damage. Have two inches there. You think? Yeah, he's at two inches of woods from the Wolverine. Yeah. Okay. From yeah, from him. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven, any tens. Mm. No good. Okay. Uh, Warrior firing at the Nova. Uh, now, I would argue that you tell me. I don't think there's. I think he's on the edge of the forest. I don't think there's any woods between him and the warrior. What do you think, Tom? Um, the does, being, does that mean I don't take a penalty shooting at you? Right. It would be mutual either way. Okay. All right. So there's one inch of woods. Is what you're saying? What was your intention, Tom? State your intentions, young man. All right. So they're medium range anyway. That's right. So yeah, you can shoot. three, four, five. We'll give him. A, we'll give him a plus one for woods. Six. Yeah, who's supposed to be in the woods? No, okay. okay, no, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. I need eights. Oh, boy. This is, oh, this side of the board's not happy with you right now. They're, they're like, you're doing all this movement and we're just standing around. Dude, this is they're upset really, with you. really bad news. Um, okay, so I, I have limited line of fire here. The quick draw can sort of see the Timberwolf, but not enough. I mean, none of these big mechs can see anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spot with the warrior. Uh, and I'm going to spot against the uh, timber wolf. I knew you, knew you were going to hit the timber wolf. Yeah, I hate the timber wolf. Um, and I have only two mechs with IF. So I'm going to shoot the warrior as well. Um, but we're going to start doing the IF stuff. So... We're gonna start with him, her. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven for the penalties, and then eight, nine, ten for long range. So this I have three. Can I land something here, Tom? Jeez. Oh, come on. It's killing me, guys. It's killing with me. With an IF penalty? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, three, four, five, six for IF, seven because of spotter shooting, Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Alright, so Gosh. same thing for the quick draw. Now, actually, the quick draw might be at medium range. Can you measure the, sure. the quick draw to the Timberwolf? If that is the case. No. 13 inches. 13. 13, Tom says. Oh, oh hold on. Maybe I might be, might be slant. Base to base? You tell me. I'll give it to you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, if that's the case, then I need nines. Uh, this is I. This if, is, if I move the base slightly, it'd be thirteen. This is I F fifteen. So. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's twelve point one. Yeah. Uh, doesn't hit anyway. Doesn't even matter, guys. All right. So the Phoenix Hawk is going to zip one in at the. Uh, I think all you can see is the Vulture, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, are they at? Yeah. Or can you see both? I don't actually. I don't. Vulture remember. doesn't have cover. The Timberwolf does have cover. So like, what is the range yeah. to the? To the well, it's probably long, but I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, long, seven long for both. Yeah. Okay. So it's only one point of damage. Uh, oh no, it's two. So he's skill two. At the vulture, or the uh, to shoot the vulture. Okay. Three. Six, right? With no cover. That's it. Two, four, five, six. Seven, eight. What did no. I miss? All right, so two, three, four, five, six. What am I missing? We're at long range. Seven. 17 inches. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Okay. He's, oh, he's seven. only a skill two pilot? He's only a skill two. Oh, okay. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so I missed something. You missed some. We'll meet in the middle. We'll call it a seven. Um, let's call it 12. Let's, let's, let's just call it a 12. <laughs> oh, oh my that. God. Dude. Let's, hold on, let's, let's figure this out again. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you got it. So what'd you get? Two That's shots? craziness. Yeah, it's two points of damage, but wow. Uh, all right, okay. so the warrior's firing at the vulture. Okay. All right. One point of damage. I don't know what I need. I'll figure it out later. That definitely yeah, hits. Yeah. <laughs> One point of damage. Um, I feel like we should do that from now on. Roll first and, and then, then figure like, it out. Yeah. <laughs> half the time it doesn't even like, matter. I mean, you know generally what you need. Now here's the other thing I want to do. 
Uh, Can you measure? Sure. Can you measure the Griffin? <laughs> no, there's no way because he's only <laughs> IF one. Yeah, he's only IF one. Um, so you do shoot. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. Yeah, this. Okay. Th I mean, listen. You could whiff everything, and this could be a brand new easy. day. Easy peasy. Or you could totally decimate me. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to start with the elementals against you because I really dislike these helicopters. Okay, now guys, uh, HT, like the heat-based damage, which yeah. these flame-based flame, flame -based elementals have, does an extra point of damage if the unit, the target unit does not have a heat scale, right. which helicopters do not have a heat scale. So, fun yeah, fact. Some of the seven, eight, nine. Some of the nines to hit. That's it, really? Three? Yeah. Okay. Oh, because you're a medium range. Mm -hmm. Eight. Oh, let me recalc that. Wait a minute, you have another point. Of, oh, it doesn't matter. You were supposed to roll two points of damage, but it wouldn't have mattered because the highest you can get is an eight with a yeah. two on the pilot pack. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now this. Ah, in a sphere of filth. They're all like trying to shoot the helicopter. They're actually all the same, so it doesn't matter. Malthus will shoot at him with four. Okay, now Malthus is skill two, don't forget. So two, four. Oh, you should need... I? I don't, I'm, I'm torn. I mean, who else are you going to shoot them? Um, oh, the trap? Yeah, I can two shots in a hand. Yeah. Which like, doesn't super benefit. Well, it would because it would, it would you, yeah. you would lose this I would lose quadrant, that quadrant. Right. And, and you don't a lot cap. Of... I wouldn't cap. But you, it's Correct. not like you, yeah. I feel like taking away your units that can cap is probably a, a better long term than what like, is... worrying myself. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, yeah, right. You know what I mean? To, you're playing the long game. Yeah, Let's I mean, see if you what know, you're doing. I'm trying, well, I'm trying to get through this hard portion where you're, like, really pressuring me, and I feel like I'm taking a mistake, high TMM, difficult yeah. to hit, whatever. I'm going to fire at them. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to my, all right, my mental map. Um, <laughs> my mental model. I have no idea. I don't actually not have Malthus. Malthus. It, Malthus if is you can see inside my brain, it's, it's Homer Simpson on, like, the tricycle, like, riding in a circle. <laughs> Uh, is that extreme? Uh, 19 inches. 19, okay. Wow, so long. Now, definitely um, getting cover yeah. as I'm behind that ruined. And I'm shooting out of wood, so that's okay. plus two. So he's at a four, five, six, and then at long nines. Okay. So three shots, the nines. I get one. Okay, so okay. one point on that trebuchet. Okay, and then the Nova is basically the same, but he's a three. Okay. Um, so mark it on this giant. Six, five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So he's ten. Ten. Three. Oh boy, that looks good. And I get it with two. Okay, so, so two, more, two points. more points of that trebuchet. So the trebuchet is going to have to. Uh, I'll mark him up here. He's going to have to make a piloting check because he took three points. Now your vol your vulture will too, by the way. Right? Your vulture took three. Mm, didn't? He took two from the Phoenix Hawk and one from the Warrior, I believe. I thought you shot the Timberwolf with one of them. That was with the IF guys. Oh, okay, well, I'll mark it. We, yeah, I'm, I can yeah. I have no idea. I'll trust you. Because the vulture was fresh, right? Otherwise? No. He, no. I think he had taken a point at least. Okay. We've done two. It's hard to remember. It's before. hard to remember these things. Anyway, I think he took three. So. Okay, so okay. Nova's up. Or no, the Nova just shot. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the elementals into the okay. hovercraft. And the Nova just did two more, right? Okay, let me let me make sure I mark yeah. that correctly. And now you've got elementals on this side of the board. Yeah. And they are shooting same things. The Three, warrior. seven, eight, nine. Okay, now remember you get two green dice. Yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> the flamers like explode and jam. Uh what's what's happening now? Same thing. Oh you have two squads. Um, Neither. Oh man, those guys are just not that good. Mm. They're skill three too. It's hard. It's hard to hit a VTOL. Dude, TMM four is very high. Yeah. It's very high. And I mean, it's TMM three with plus one because it's a VTOL and blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna fire at that guy now. Um. So I assume we're at long range. No, Matt Steiner. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. I failed. So Vulture will go first with four shots. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I did not think you'd have the angle to make that. I should have pulled him back further. Yeah. I'm going to... I can only hope it's high TMI. Should I overheat two and hit him with six? 
How, how much armor does he have? I mean, he has plot armor, so infinite. Rooker has only six pips in total. Four armor, two structure. I could crush him with one shot. You could. You could. Uh, but what are the TMMs to hit? He's a two. I'm a three. Five, five six, seven, eight. Eight eights. I mean, one good pilot die, Tom. If you roll a six on a pilot die, it's like, it's like yeah. all but certain death. What do you think? Is, it, is, this the, is this the moment? I refuse to, to counsel you on this, as we are yeah. currently are we currently litigating against each other, or whatever they say that. Yeah, that's true. Whatever they say in legal terms. Yeah. No ex parte communications. <laughs> yeah. Three, four, five, six. Okay, dude, this is... Over, this is, this so the everything. Timberwolf is overheating long. The vulture. Oh, the vultures. The vulture. Well, are you a long? Oh, er, he cannot overheat long. He can. Er, pull that yeah, back. Yeah, pull that pull back. back. Oh, yeah. All my grand schemes. Okay, so he can't overheat oh. it long. So he does four at long, okay, right? So we'll do four. Yeah. Okay. Which didn't matter anyway. Okay, got lucky. Got lucky that you didn't burn heat on that. Okay. Yeah. Rucker and then the Timberwolf is a four as well. He does have overheat. Missiles slamming into the rock face, yeah. showering debris. I'll do it because at least then maybe I can get a crit. And maybe I need to check my. Oh, see, that was a problem right there. You're using the wrong guy? Wrong. Okay. I keep, I keep... So are you overheating one? I overheat one with the Timberwolf. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Mouth is cackling in the background. You hear him in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. wait a minute, you needed what to hit? You got two hits. You got uh, three hits. Yeah. And, or four hits. Yeah. So his armor is gone. Seven, now wait seven, a minute. Eight. Well, I might have only needed seven, so hold on. Two bolts of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, you need eight. Okay, so. So you get four points of damage and, and a through armor crit. You only ever can get one. Uh, and you didn't hit structure yet. Rooker's still hanging in there, though. A oh, that three, that's a freaking engine hit. Oh, he's stuck in the dead oh, zone. Oh, no. I think he's stuck in the dead zone. Oh, no. But I didn't get through his armor, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, God. The engine hits are brutal. They're brutal. They're brutal. They're brutal. Okay. Are you done shooting? No. I have um, the executioner. Okay. What's oh, he sort of. I don't know. Oh, no. Um, well, wait a minute. If he can see the marauder, how did I not know that I could shoot you back? Yeah, I'm going to shoot the marauder. And then you, if I shoot the marauder, you can shoot me back. Oh, thanks. So we're at um, long, we're at 20 inches. Okay. So. And what's the, so you're two, three, four. You need sevens. Yeah, two, three, four. I need eights. Five, six, sevens. Okay. okay. So does he have overheat? But not overheat long, so. Okay, so four. It's all of them, so four oh, points. I thought you had another throw on the I thought critical. so too, but I didn't. Oh my God, four points, ouch. All right, so I, I will have to make a uh, piloting check on this Marauder. I'm gonna shoot back because Tom's a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, what did you need to hit? Sevens. So I need eights, as I am I am slightly worse than you. Here we go. Uh, do I get I got cover long. and, do I get cover and woods? Cause he's uh, actually obscured. No. I don't. Or is it? Does it just wash? You just. Get I don't think enough of you is covered. Like okay. just your one shin's covered. That's fine. Uh, oh, he still up. has. Uh, he still has his elementals. If you want to roll. Oh, for that. okay. Can I? Can I snipe an elemental off? I can. Dude, leave my elementals alone, please. Leave my elementals alone. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's that. Um, now we're done. I have a piloting check. And I got two. The tre trebuchet. Oh shoot! Three. The phoenix hawk. You're right. Yeah. Okay. I'll start with mine just because I know you have a couple. Yeah. Um, You're fine. Yeah. He gets it. All right. So first thing is the Marauder. He's just rolling. And he just doesn't have to get snake eyes, basically. Okay. He's good. I should never say things like that. <laughs> Same thing with, uh, with Rooker. All right. He's good. The Trebuchet did not take any crazy... He took a crit. Didn't he got an engine hit or that was oh. this guy over here? Um, the trebuchet's fine in terms of the mobility and the ability to stand slash not stand. Okay, so you good then? Okay. I'm good. They're all they're all they're all still up, but yikes! Yeah, bad bad news. So Rucker builds up a point of heat, courtesy of the engine hit. Yeah. Um, 
Yikes. Okay, so let's talk about quadrants real quick, shall we? Yeah. I got one. I got I got none. I don't think I've You got the, you got, oh, this, I got this one. You got, got that one. one. Yeah, so I get another objective point. Nice. Yeah. Alright. But you, uh, you know, can can I get my heavy lance in the mix is the question. Like I'm not really doing a ton of damage here. I'm starting to wear down a little bit on that armor, but this right flank is like unflappable. Um and my, you know, mine is absolutely collapsing while yours is just wrecking me. So we'll see. Uh, Warriors, once again, tying up some mechs, keeping things, uh, keeping keeping the, the clanners on their back heels. But we'll see if it holds up, guys. Turn six is coming right up. Turn six. Uh, intensity is uh, it's, it's dialing up, Tom. Yeah. So um, I lost an issue again. I'm gonna run through real quick what I did so we can get into the action. Uh, lots of thinking here in the movement phase. So on my right flank, um, I brought the warrior back a little bit, still though contesting that one quadrant over there. Um, the Wolverine slowly withdrawing, trying to just stay in the fight as long as it can. Trebuchet moved from this building to this building. Same deal. Griffin actually shifted around. Let's see if I can get him in the fight. Uh, Rooker, <clears throat> so my original plan with Rooker was to move him up, and then when you forgot about him, I was gonna actually jump him over this formation and then start doing what I do. Same as the, ex the Executioner's <laughs> Gambit. I think it's what we That's call That's what it. we call this, the Executioner's yeah. Gambit. However, it failed miserably. <laughs> Uh, so he is much now, like mine. <laughs> yeah, he's withdrawing. Uh, he's not in forced withdrawal, but I'm pulling him back. I'm going to use him probably to hold one of these back quadrants if I can. Now, <laughs> I realized I don't know why I was slow withdrawing the quick draw because he has no guns, and I'm thinking to myself like, well, I'll just keep him there to soak fire. But this is a campaign, guys. This is serious. It matters. It matters. I don't want this mech destroyed. So oh, I got to. I got to. Ocean violation. Keeping him on the board. <laughs> he needs to have a I'm gonna concussion get, protocol. I want to get sighted. <laughs> it's going to be a very hefty fine. Um, They're gonna shut this worksite down. <laughs> this worksite, this worksite already is a disaster. Uh, it's like a mine fire, and like, look, look, what, what happened here? So anyway, these three guys are really what's holding down my force. This is my linchpin. Um, the archer and the marauder hopefully can draw a line of sight over here. The night star actually can see the timber wolf, I believe. He should not be able to. The, the intention was not to let Okay, well, well, we'll have to look there and see that you're, maybe you're right. Maybe those yellow tanks are blocking. Uh, my other warrior in the rear is, you know, got prime line of sight. We'll see what I can do there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Tom, tell me. Yeah, similar. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's a bit of a scramble. A um, bit of a scramble, yeah. Uh, again, I, I just brought these guys around, trying to isolate your mechs, pick them off. Keep picking them off until we can get like good numbers where I can then rush in and we can like do some, some fisticuffs. Rock, rock them, sock um, Yeah, uh, in, in terms of our lawsuit, uh, I did just hire Johnny Depp's legal team. Oh, so be, be careful. Ooh. Uh, a little Vasquez. A little I Vasquez mean, action. Good stuff. She's on. She's on. The, yeah, she's coming. Um, <laughs> she's a subscriber, so please be careful. But yeah, I mean, I I, I didn't know much. You know, they're enforced to draw, so I pulled them back. Uh, over here, the uh, the exterminator or the executioner. I'm sorry. Um, same thing. Just you know, using using him to sort of make you a little. Yeah, yeah you're you controlling know. the board. Like that line of sight from that thing is scary. It does yeah. a ton of damage. So. Um, and then on this side, again, I, I swapped them around and I moved the elementals to just kind of cap in the woods and be covered. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit unsure. I, I I'm still torn between trying to take this thing out which will ensure that I get this quadrant. But if I can also hit that trebuchet, he goes in the force withdrawal. Right. You know, and then you, you're not getting that. You don't have <sighs> this. Big. Yeah. Right, it could be big. So I'm up, to, I'm up two primary objective points yeah. right now. Yeah, I need, like, yeah, in these last turns, like what, you, what do we go up to eight? Uh, we go or is to this ten. Ten, okay. So, so I do have a chance to turn it around. Right, you do. It's true. 
Um, so we'll see. I mean, this could be, again, could be a telling turn, could not. Last turn didn't turn out to be as telling. No. Now, what was the verdict on the Night Star? Cannot see? Yeah, I mean, I can move him a little bit if it is, because the intention was to have him blocked. Um, so let me take a look. It's I'm going to come down. I, I didn't think he could. But no, you're right. He, yeah. he has no line of sight. It's a, the yellow things. Yeah, you're there. right. Those those yellow tanks block so, line of fire. sight. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to start shooting here. We're going to start on this side of the board. I'm going to have the warrior uh, shoot into the Nova. Mm. Okay. Uh, so the warrior yeah, is, uh, is skill three. Nova is a four five. They're medium range, six, seven, and you have woods, yeah. eight. Okay, there we go. Ooh, close. So close. I need it's it. Awesome. I need it. I need that warrior to uh, to, to Let's see, three. For me. Skill three. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. The woods. Eight. All right. So this trebuchet uh, is going to fire at Malthus. Uh, I don't. I don't believe. Oh, I guess I do have line of sight to the Nova. Can you measure range for me, actually? Sure. Uh, I want to see if we're at long or extreme. Oh, we are at long. We're at long. Yeah, okay. Three. So oh, no, we're at no, extreme. extreme. Okay, yeah. so Malthus is long. Yeah. The Nova's. All right, so I'm going to fire at Malthus. Uh, I do two points of damage at long. Three, four, five, six for the woods. Nine. Nines. Yikes. But you'll get it. Oh, no, dude, no. Wolverine, same deal. Uh, does one point of damage at long. Now, he might have two inches of woods, by the way. To Malthus? Maybe. No. Okay. All right, okay. got that. So one point to Malthus. Um, and he disembarked his... Uh, his uh, oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then... Yeah, leave him like, on the card so I can keep track of it. Seems right, to help. So the Phoenix... Uh, how, many, how much wood's between the Phoenix Hawk and Malthus? I, it, it looks like three. <laughs> like four? Yeah, three. Yeah, okay. It's, oh, it's, it's no good. All right, so the Night Star is going to shoot those elementals that are in uh, in retreat. What is what is the range there? I'm going to guess probably extreme. Yeah. Yeah. So and they should be uh, two. Yeah, they didn't yeah, jump. Two's right. Yeah. Uh, so three. It's <clears throat> actually skill two, four. I need eights. Here we go. Can I roast some elementals with this thing? Unbelievable. Dude, oh God. you only need Dude. one. That hurts. This really hurts. All right, this archer is going to turn and unload. Uh, what sound do LRMs make? Let me see here, Tom. So I can see the vulture. I don't. What's the range of the vulture? To the vulture? Yeah. Um, 13? Is it really? It's over 12, yeah. Okay, so. Well, crap. That Never, never mind. I'll shoot the Timberwolf down. Yeah, they're both at 13. I was going to go for the cover if the vulture was at 12. Oh, the dice if we were medium. Oh, my God. I'll still do four at long, though. This yeah. thing is pretty nasty. And which, which one are you shooting? The Timberwolf. Okay. So, he's skill three. Three, four, five, eight. All right, long range. Yeah. All right. Come on, give me some luck here. The dice are like sticking in my clammy hands. I'm so nervous, Tom. Jeez. Oh, I thought that was at least two points. I did too. I'm surviving. I haven't hit anything. Have I hit anything? Um, I don't want to remember if you did. No, you hit my. You hit Malthus. I had Malthus for one pip. One pip. Yeah. I mean, on real, dude. Did you shoot this guy yet? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. So the warrior's up next. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the vulture. Mm. Uh, so three, four, five. I, don't know, I, I need eights. Here we go. Oh, guys, this hurts. Uh, Marauder uh, up to the executioner. Are they long or extreme? Um, executioner, who, 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 who? executioner to Marauder. So, Marauder? Oh, yeah. um, are they probably right? long. They were long. Oh, they but were, you moved out to twenty-one. I did. I did that. Okay, so they're still long. Oh. Let me. I I eyeballed that. I mean, dude, they're so close. It's like just over twenty-one. I don't even know. Yeah. Can you yeah, see you're it? right. It's over twenty. It's. it's I, I can't. Like right there. You want to roll dice for it? Yeah. High. Right. High. It's. High. It's in. Low. It's not. Alright, so it's it. So, I'm gonna keep so that I'm gonna keep then. that six. <laughs> <laughs> so they're at long then, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're at long range. We're gonna call long range. Uh so three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Three points, I believe, on this Marauder. On the, I love the three R. It's such a solid design. Mm. Three points. Here we go. I need. I should have said no. You're gonna crush me this time. I'm not. Three. Dude, it's like two inches of woods. Three, four, five, six, seven. I need tens. It's not two inches, so you don't have to. Oh, I only need nine. Well, I roll a five at my highest. <laughs> Guys, this was a dude. This is not a good. Turn. This was bad for the Fed. Company. I hope it's not what it's gonna look like for me, though. Well, we might, might as well start shooting. Yeah. This is anything oh else? Oh my no? god! Okay. I missed every dude. I missed everything. Yeah, that was ten units on the board. Yeah. That that's 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 game changer. Unless you unless you equally suck. Yeah. Well, so I'll start with the Timberwolf then, and we'll see how this is gonna go. So the Timberwolf at long range to the Archer. That's not a good barometer because it's got the heat penalty. Yeah, you we'll, know. we'll see how this goes. So he's skill three. We're right. long, right? Yeah, yeah. 13 he's a long. Okay, so basically he's three, four. So three, four for the heat. Five, five. So you know, you only need eights. Gross. Oh my. Wow, and another. And I oh hit with all my gosh. four and a crit. So. Okay. Nine. A nine, that's a not, that's nothing. Okay. That's still four damage. So four damage oh from, from Latinda. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. And then the vulture will do equally four points at long. Um, now, is there a hover? Need... I don't think so. Okay. You're... I believe you. Yeah, you're... You are the cover miser, so... Yeah, you're clear from him. Okay. Um, so that should be sevens then, because he doesn't have the heat penalty. Yeah. Right? Same. Three, four, yeah, five, six, seven. I get two. Two more. Oh my goodness okay. gracious. All right, so the archer is getting jacked up here. Okay. Um. All right. So. So we're at extreme. Extreme the executioner. Would you do eight dice extreme? <laughs> just three. That's still so much. And then, okay, so I'll. I'm gonna keep the fire on him. ERPPCs zipping across the battlefield here. Yeah, I mean, now there's we, no. Well, we said the Marauder was at long though. The Marauder's at long. And does the Marauder has the? Mar yes. It's taking some damage. It has. It is. It's got one one point of armor left. Okay. So I'll I'll probably take that shot then. Um, okay. I hate splitting fire, but uh, it'll do four, and I think that's important. Yeah. So, um, if you land again, them, it'll it's two, put them in force three, draw. four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, wow, 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 wow. it's in force with right time. Okay, um, on freaking believable. Can I spend my point of edge? <laughs> Hang on, you get a critical hit check, dude. Oh, you went internal, um, you went into his, his delicious innards. Oh my one. god, another freaking engine hit. Yo, this whole lance is going to be out of commission for the rest of the campaign. I guess we're just going to suicide now. I mean, just nonstop. Just... Yeah. I can't. I mean, they're, they're all in withdrawal. Yeah. I can't believe it. Um, I don't know if I can check for his pilot. I okay, can. so this this side did really well. Um, yeah, you got you got a couple of I just elementals. Got... Yeah, and, and those two guys. I don't think the, ele the elementals are only medium range. I meant, I meant the red ones, the honor guard over here. I, don't, I think they're out of range, too. Oh, yeah. oh, they shoot 12. Oh, yeah, they are. In, I didn't think they'd be in range. I love these little guys. By the way, guys, these are uh, speed painted. Did you, you painted them, right? Yeah. No, I did. I painted them. Tom did Malthus, and then I, I wanted to add some elementals, and I, I thought it'd be cool if I did them. I call them the honor guard. Yeah, yeah I think it, it's exactly what I, the way I think of them. And I did those with speed paints. I did the smoke. Can I pick them up? Do you have the other ones? Here, let me um, see the other ones right here. Yeah. So uh, the smoke here is uh, is speed paint. That's the Grave Lord Gray that, that Dan and I reviewed this. The red is the Slaughter Red. Yeah, turn out really um, And I did all Army Painter paints. Uh, I did the just like the gun metal on the gun barrels, and then I did some some blue for the little white. Remember? Right and I did the little white on there. Yeah. Yeah. Just to kind of match the pattern that you did there. So. Yeah, it looks really great. I thought I painted them. I'm kidding. I did. Um, <laughs> I know so I black out and like wake up and things are painted. What did I do? <laughs> did I? What did I do? Did I paint that? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna fire the elementals first at the helicopter. Okay. So um, two Remember points. Remember, get an extra point. Yep. Yep. 
Not for it then. Now, what do you need? 13s? Yeah, not gonna make it. Okay. Uh, the highest was a 7. I don't think. You ain't hitting that guy. Yeah. That's um, Sergeant Sparrow over there. He's... Yeah, I was trying to do the math on this, so it's 2, 6, 7, right, you skill, you eight, skill nine, 9. Right? Yeah. It'd be, so it'd be 9s to hit. Yeah. Or it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 with cover? You got cover? 9. So yeah. it's almost equal, right? Or equal. Right, nine and nine. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. One said almost equal. Did so I say almost? Equal? <laughs> yeah, definitely equal. Totally equal. Um, he is stripped, right? Ah, uh, he has one pip of armor. He doesn't. Oh, he has a pip of armor. The Wolverine is inter. Uh, yeah, the Wolverine's internal. So, what do you think, man? It's really hard. Um. So he's actually at 20. He's at 22. So the, the Nova's going to fire at him. I think that'll be smart. Too much. Yeah, see what happens. So it's going to be 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, Nines, yeah. Almost nothing. Almost they, they just don't want to get hurt. I'm telling you. Nothing is going to touch your flyers. And I'm like holding my breath. This helicopter um, doing so good. And don't forget, Malthus can split fire. Takes a penalty, but you know, on he's the secondary target. But. So he's we're in medium, so I'm gonna do medium against him. I have to I have to take that thing out and just Dude, you're gonna miss with everything. You're gonna be so mad. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real mad. Uh so he does four points of damage. And you need nines? Right. Yeah. Is that right? Hang on. Two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the nobody needed tens then. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Oh no. Um three Oh, seven. Right. Yeah, oh, no, seven. nobody needed tens. Uh, Malthus needs anything. nines. Malthus kills the helicopter, Three guns hits. it down out of the sky, <laughs> tailspin, <laughs> boom. Yeah. Like the rotor, like digging into the ground, oh, dirt yeah, yeah. chunks <laughs> flying everywhere. Everybody wow, all right. right, so one unit destroyed. That's big for your back line there. The question is, this guy's on the line currently. He's in this one. Okay. So yeah. I think I think well, I mean that's where it was supposed to be. I okay. guess the, I don't, don't know if this dice is necessary. I think that dice got moved a couple times, but we can we can check it. But anyway. I was just basing it off of that. Okay. Now he's safely on one side. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we well, gotta make a couple of checks here yeah. before we go nuts, right? So right to gun shooting. Checks? Um. Yeah. I don't they think, dude, I, I didn't hit any. I did one pip to you this entire turn. So no, you have no checks, you jerk. Okay. Uh, however, my Marauder needs to make a roll. My Archer needs to make a roll. Uh, my Marauder is also in forced withdrawal, so it needs to make a morale check. So we're going to start with the Archer, like, just standing up. Like, not, not falling over like a goober. Nice. Not falling over. Where is these when I shoot Tom? Dude, he, they, they do not want to fall down. They just, they're That's... like, this is, we're not going to be embarrassed. It's like, yeah. guys, too late. Uh, we're walking home. We're walking. <laughs> Nobody's carrying us home. <laughs> All right, so the Marauder, does he fall down? Does not. Does he flee? So, I have an engine hit. So it's at a nine, but his guts brings it back down to an eight. I don't have any. Oh, he fails. He's running. He fails. Um, and then what else? Up the end trucking. What? What else? Uh, nothing else uh, took damage. The helicopter is dead. So you pick up a secondary objective point for killing a unit. So I get these the archer two. is on the line. The marauders in force withdraw. The warriors destroyed. So you get one, two, three quadrants in the back. Right, because they're contesting this one. So yeah. I have three, and you have four, right? Or three? I have one. Two, three, and four. Yeah. So I get another objective point. Okay. Uh, you get a secondary one, but I get a primary one. Now, my forces are slowly dwindling here. Turn seven's coming up.
is turn seven. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know, I feel like, I, yeah, I'm up on points, but my force is falling apart. Now, as you saw in the damage recap, uh, I only have two primary objective points. Tom and I, after after we stopped rolling, I was like, wait a minute. on the line. Right, he was the one guy was on the line, this guy's in force withdrawal, right? So I only had three, he had three. So it was, uh, nobody got the point last turn. Uh, surprisingly, I lost the initiative again. <laughs> Dude, it's killing I, me. I don't think I've lost initiative once. No, yeah, you've won. It really it's, is. It's killing me. Especially killing with me. like you trying to press in on me. It's, it's, it's I killing have all me. The, yeah. You have all the advantage, all the momentum. It, it really hurts. This is a great example of like... Wow. <sighs> Dude, when you, um, I, and it's like if it goes back and forth, it's one thing. But like when you lose this many turns in a row, like you really get on your back foot. Yeah. Um, so basically the, the one chopper's down. This one's moving around the back. And what's his name? Um, Mayweather. The, the defensive boxer. Yeah, it's easy to just kill. Yeah. You're Mayweather right now? Mayweather's easy. He doesn't have a hard fight. He's, he's not, not a hard fight. Okay. He's, he's the best boxer of our generation. Uh, so, <laughs> he's a subscriber. He is. He's please, a subscriber, so please do not, be gentle. If he shows up in his private plane to fight me, I'm gonna cry. Only if it, well, what if it's Battletech, though? What if think, I got, what, you, what faction do you think he plays? Clan, Clan um, Wolverine? I was gonna say. Like one of the, like, OG, like, I was gonna say either Wolf. Oh, I could see that. He'd be a big, yeah. and he would or be a ghost bear. Yeah, oh, I could see ghost bear. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, so I got these guys here out on the. They're just sort of shuffling around. The Wolverine's slowly withdrawing. Malthus now presenting himself as a target. So we'll see. They're they're gonna get decimated, or something good will happen. Rooker uh, continuing to fall back now in control of this quadrant here. Remember, he's not in force withdrawal. Um, so he is able to hold this down. Um, the Night Star, wild card, moving up, still uh, having trouble seeing anything. Can see those elementals. Um, and then I've got the... <laughs> <laughs> they're just in, they're we just saw in that. Draw. We saw that time. Yeah, uh, and then the Archer can see the Executioner, could potentially indirect fire at the Vulture if I uh, spot it with the Copter again. I'm not sure. Marauder can't see a darn thing and is uh, in forced, uh, forced withdrawal. He did sprint back um, off the line. Um, he sprinted not very far. So that because... means he can't shoot this turn? What's that? When when he's in like the Yeah, he can't, force, right? Yeah, you all he can shoot. do is run. Okay. And the, the, the reason he didn't go very far is because he doesn't have a point of heat, so his movement got reduced, so it really, so he only and now, five inches. When, you, when you're in that like forced, forced withdrawal, mm -hmm. you can roll at the end of each turn to come yeah, out and recover. Okay. I was gonna spend a leadership but you don't point have, on him, yeah. but like I don't care at this point. Okay. No. Well, all right. Well, here shots. we go. Uh, oh, do you want to talk about what you did? We didn't talk about. Oh, you sure. Did. Yeah. Yeah. So same thing. I'm. I'm trying again. You're Mayweather. Yeah. I'm. I'm. When you put him here, I realized the only thing I could do is come out of cover and just get decimated by whoever right. you wanted. So I instead pulled the Timberwolf back to focus on the flyer, and then the Vulture has indirect fire too. Mm -hmm. So you know. I was trying to get him anyway with the executioner, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the penalties and I'm gonna try to indirect fire and fire and just try to really because um, if I can get I'll be able to control that quadrant or that octronoon yeah octronaut octronom octonauts um, and then on this side again yeah the executioner coming up in the cover <clears throat> Malthus came out I need to I need to move up I need to do it um yeah I reattached the um elementals to the nova for Give the meat some, shield just the meat shield because he's a little bit vulnerable and he jumped um all right forward so I have these two quadrants and these two yeah, um, we're, we're pretty but forward. they're both contested over here so. pretty far away here but yeah the, the idea actually over here because I, I don't think I can even hit him because yeah. he's to uncover uh was to try and take him out and Take away that quadrant from. Okay. Him. So if I can, if I can get some extreme range hits, because I think he's pretty damaged, right? He has only got two pips of structure left, no armor. Yeah. So if I can put him in force withdrawal, you're gonna lose. You know, we'll be able to lose that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be a lot more even. So as long as this, I think this one's critical. If you get that, I think, even if I get that, I think you're gonna get another objective point. Yeah. Well, um, unless I also is... I have to kill him. Yeah. This is a critical turn. Yeah. It's a critical thing. Because like you're up on the, the points are what matters. I'm gonna try to kill the Nova. The game. Uh, yeah. to start. I figured. Um so the trebuchet is gonna fire at the Nova. Um he does two points of damage, they're at long range. So three, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine for the forest. Okay. All right. Yeah, he jumped, right? Yes, yeah, so, and you marked that. Ah, uh, yeah, the TMM yeah. of three. Whoops. Don't forget when you shoot, um, yeah, you will plus two. two. Yeah. Oh my god, man. This this continues. It continues. Um, all right, the Wolverine one point also needs a nine. Oh. Could have been a 12. You want to roll for um, Oh, elemental? yeah, could, could hit an elemental. Uh, it does not. Okay. One point. To so the Nova? Uh, yeah, one point to the Nova. Okay. All right. Uh, and then the Griffin is at extreme range of the Nova. Uh, might as well just yeah, whatever. I was going to say, might as well roll first. I mean, I keep rolling out of the dice tray. I'm so depressed. Um, okay, so I'm going to shoot Malthus with the uh, Phoenix Hawk. Oh, a little preemptive. A little, I mean, that's, I can, that's all I can do. Uh, one point of damage at extreme range. Two, four, need eights. Got it. All right. Okay. Good job, Colonel Matt Steiner. It's not a colonel in this in this camp. Maybe he is. I wouldn't be. I feel like a lieutenant or something, commanding a lance. I don't even okay. know. Okay. All right. So the juicy side. Juicy. There's, there's nothing juicy. I mean, the warrior's spotting against the vulture. I'm also going to shoot the vulture. Um. So here we go. I think I got it. So the vulture takes one point of damage. Uh, I got I have three on the archer. Um, so third medium range. So he's a three, five, six, seven. He nines. Wow, you get one, just one. So you get one crit. Oh, and the vultures in force oh, withdrawal. He is, yeah. All right, so that. one critical hit, a three, it's an engine hit. Dude, what is going on? Every engine hits roll, like, all day. All day, son. Yeah. Okay, now. Uh, last things, uh, last things last, um, my Night Star is going to try to just obliterate those elementals. You weren't supposed to be able to shoot them. Oh, oh, you did want to move them into cover? It's I thought a, you were just joking. It's my own fault for not checking, so um, go for it. Do okay. It. It's not like they're doing anything. I'm probably going to miss anyway. We'll see. We'll roll. I won't even calculate. Probably going to roll a one here. Yep. Okay. All good. <laughs> All good. Just wanted to get that extra one out of my system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, ready? God, that's awful. Yeah. Not a great turn of shooting. Not bad, though. I mean, yeah. So the vulture sure. only took two points of damage, correct? Yeah. But but he is in force withdrawal. But yeah, I mean, but he doesn't he doesn't take uh, he doesn't take piloting check to fall down. Just a morale check. Oh, I, yeah. You swapped it. Good job. Okay. Um, okay. So what are you starting with? Elementals into the helicopter. Not even a chance. He just hates. Oh, dude, the helicopter is hilarious. They they just take so much. Fun. Wow, those dice are hot. hot okay. Hot. So then the uh, Timberwolf into him. He's okay. in a medium. Are you gonna so overheat and do like twelve nah. points of damage? He'll do five. So I mean, hopefully, unless I roll really badly. Wait, you only need fives? No. No, no. I, I rolled five dice. Okay. So I'm in medium. So that's uh, three. Four, five, six, you seven, nine. You got none. Got nothing. Got nothing. Wow, what a waste. All right. So then I'm going to indirect fire with the vulture. And and who's spotting the executioner? The executioner. And he will be shooting? And he'll be shooting, yep. So okay. I'm going to take a two. Yeah. And he's only IF two. Right. So two, four, six, seven is all you need. Oh, eight, nine. No, no. Yes, eight, nine. This is my turn to just... Oh, my gosh. It's my turn to just... It's gonna hurt. Okay, so then uh, I'll I'll just keep going. So they're at um, long range. Okay. So the extra shooter will do four. Okay. And um, he takes an extra one, right, for spotting. Correct. Yeah, because he's he is spotting. That's right. Okay. So he's a two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. How? Like there's no cover from that building at all. No, I don't. No, no he's like straight up. I was hoping you were not gonna okay. know. So he, he gets three. three points of damage, Tom. That is. Is that all she wrote? It's or? internal. He's not in force withdrawal, though. Wow. He's not in force. He is now. <laughs> He's in, he is not in force withdrawal, Tom. Okay? <laughs> force ejection. Dead. Force yeah. ejection. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can you, dude, that was. Because oh, wow. I, I own that sector. Yeah. And I'm in force withdrawal. Yeah, I would have capped that as a point. Yeah. Un freaking believable. Um, okay. 
Uh, so that is a dead pilot. Okay. Okay, I mean, we just gotta keep moving. Um, so now the really hard ones are coming up. Okay. Um, the summoner, we're in extreme, I don't even need to measure. Yeah. Um, so the summoner in extreme will do two, two pips to Colonel Matt Steiner, non-Colonel, <laughs> NCO. Uh, right, and so he's, he's a like, Lance he's Master like Sergeant or something, yeah. yeah. The Captain Matt Steiner <laughs> before he gets promoted. So he's two, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, he's still at three. Well, uh, he sprinted. Uh, yeah. So you need what? Nines. That's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. You did not. I did. Well, wait a minute. So that's all you needed because he's in forced withdrawal now, but you oh. get you oh, get sorry. two critical hits. Now, how many times are we going to drop dice? We're all, we're all oh, tonight. Like an eight. Okay, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to let it ride? All right, so... A uh, four is a fire control hit, but you get two. Yeah, two criticals. Oh. And a five, that's nothing. Okay. Uh, but here's the deal. Which is that, 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 that could have sealed the game. Um, I don't know, we're still... Well, your Nova can shoot, so go ahead yeah. and do that. The Nova's going to shoot... Um, the, the Wolverine? The Wolverine. Used to be a jerk? Yeah. Okay. Not oh. the not the trebuchet? I don't, I don't... Can I hit him behind that building? Well, I guess I'm raised up, aren't I? Oh, can you see? You may not be able to see more than. Come look. I, I can see his upper right, torso. Right, you I'm gonna come around. I want you because this is your mech. You know, it's my mech. So I can see his upper torso, but I mean, you can see fifty percent of the mech. Okay. Yeah, yeah the rule we use well, a lot is just like the torso, right? Is like prime. It. Well, yeah, I mean by volume, but okay. also you know what kills me is this little cutout. That as you can gives see, you the arm. It gives you the arm and that whole lower. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the Nova has a chance to redeem himself. Okay, uh, we're at long range. Hey guys, <laughs> we're gonna redeem myself this time. So he's he's, a, he's, he's long, long range. Yeah, twenty inches. So he's skill three, but you yeah. jumped. So you're basically skill five. Yeah. So he does three. Six, okay. five, so wait, hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need tens. Eleven will cover. Right. I think so. It's never gonna have that. Nope. So nope. nothing there. Nope. Nope. Um, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Um, not a, not a terrible turn. Uh, I need to roll a morale for him, right? You need to roll morale for him. He fails. Six, Six fails. Uh, yeah. You need you need what's his guts? Three. Um, one one. So, cause you took an engine hit, right? The vulture did not take. Oh, he did take an engine hit. Yeah. So he's got a critical. Um. So yeah, he would need a nine. He would need an eight or better. Oh, yeah, Steiner, oh, can I use a leadership point on him? You can. You can auto rally him. Okay. Well, I, that's, I mean, he's. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. Before you spend anything, uh, I'm not sure it's going to matter, uh, and I'm, I'll tell you why. Let's let's go to the let's go to the numbers here. Let's let's go to the sectors. Uh, I control one. Archer's destroyed, dude. Huge. I mean, that was a huge twelve. Yeah, I can't believe those. I mean, because he again, cinematic. Again, he did not have, yeah. wasn't in force withdrawal, had taken structure, but was still like up and running. Just smoke him up there. Yeah. Smoke him if you got okay. him. Smoke him if you got him. So I, I own one, two, three. You yeah. own one, two. two. Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah, three. No, the vultures in force withdrawal. Where's the timber? Oh, the elementals. Are they not these ones? I have elementals right here for oh, this. No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's I, so I had him in this one and him in that one. Okay, so, so three to three. So we're just net so out. break even. So it's turn seven. We're going into turn eight. I don't know that I can catch up. Maybe. So I only team. have I only have three units that can cap. Yeah, and one of them is pretty hurt. If I can get pretty hurt, if you can get him. But if you get him, so next turn it's all it's either next turn or bust. We have to do next turn. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Turn eight coming right up.
right, this is it. This is do or die. Um, so here's what happened. Shockingly lost initiative again. Um, so I used a leadership point. So the, the Marauder rolled uh, off camera to rally, because you can do that every turn. I failed. I used a leadership point. I needed them to hopefully to shoot something this turn. But I don't think it's going to matter. <clears throat> the Night Star is going to shoot that Timberwolf finally in position to do something. The Trebuchet did some some things. I moved him, to, tried to block him here, and I jumped the Griffin to into safety as well because I want to hold these points down. However, Tom, yeah, you responded. How how did you respond, sir? Yeah, by um, disembarking the elementals from the executioner just to free yeah. up some weight, and then he jumped heroically up onto the top of this outcropping to get over. Uh, the cover unexpectedly yeah towering like a titan like a titan on top of the mountain about to hurl boulders down <laughs> yeah so I, I disembarked both sets of elementals mm -hmm. so the nova was up here i jumped him and then disembarked so that i have two elementals that can get shots on again the hope the nova's pulled back he's gonna get some shots <clears throat> timberwolf get some shots i really need to i need to get the point of clear your back. yeah yeah i mean I, i'm not gonna go take out that guy on this turn but the hope is if I can get him, you don't get that. Um, it'll be big. Yeah, it'll. It needs to go it'll my turn way. the top. I mean, yeah. then you'll you'll basically have won the game. Yeah. Um, at that and point. I have elementals that are capping this quadrant, and hopefully the Timberwolf is alive to capture this one. So, so what I would propose us. in the interest of time is that you start shooting because see what happens. If you if you fail to kill the yeah. warrior and the trebuchet. And I haven't done the math on either or, we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. But if you take them both out, what's gonna happen is you're gonna score a point this turn, and then I only have two scoring units, you're gonna score you're gonna win the next two turns. Yeah, and then I'll win by one. And then one you'll point. win by one point. Yeah. Right? It will be a uh, a victory for Clan Jade Fountain. So this is this is a nail biter, guys. This is this is big here. Um, I should also like to point out uh, Colonel Matthew Steiner here and the quick draw are retreating off the board. Um, so we'll see what happens. So we're doing the math. What are you starting with here? I'm going to start with the harness, the Timberwolf. Okay. Um, he's a long range. He has a point of heat. Um, he doesn't even have his TMM on. Um, and he needs 11s. Oh, so I'm debating whether or not I should take another point of heat and just like go for broke. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, because he's exposed to the um, the yeah. night star at this point. So you're taking the heat? Yeah. He needs a lab it. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Tom. Tom. <laughs> Did you just shoot the warrior through the cockpit? <laughs> the, 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 just, it's still flying. <laughs> and the guy's just dead. <laughs> it's, it's just, just like... <laughs> it's just... No, it's just <laughs> <laughs> what a roll, dude. Wow. Best point like, of heat ever. Best point of heat Incredible. Ever. Yeah. Now. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Did so, I just blow all of my goodwill, though? Uh, let's find out. So, Malthus... Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, the oh. Executioner. We were... The Executioner. Firing down on on the timber, or I'm sorry, on the trebuchet. I still yeah. can't get over that's crazy. On the trebuchet. So he's a two. Now the other thing we forgot to mention is you declared that you were spending a point of leadership. Yeah, yeah. So that's what this green mm -hmm. die is for. Um, it was called blood a stalker. Blood right? stalker. stalker. Right. So I took leadership. So I'm spending a point of leadership to declare blood stalker. Yeah. Which gives me a minus one to hit. A specific target. I, yeah. I like declare a target. Yeah. 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 You, so, you, you have to basically declare the use in the movement phase. Yeah. And then, you know, you pick the target, you know, basically before everybody moves, you pick the target and then, you know, so he did that and now he gets it. So leadership in Alpha Strike, like in Destiny, you could, you know, move the initiative order. You could also automatically rally. You can do those things. You can also grant certain SPAs to your pilots in Alpha Strike, yeah. uh, similar to the Command Lance. So... So I think but, I, you have, I think it was nine. So you're a two, four, six, seven, eight, nine for long range. Yeah. However, eight because of bloodstalker. Oh, I, you're right. All right, and we agreed that because of the elevation, there's no cover involved. Oh, I calculated covering that. Uh, so I'm two, 
Well, that's and why you had three nine for jumping. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no, it's it's only two for jumping. Uh, so so he's basically because remember he's skill two. Yeah. So jumping gives him another two. That's four. Five six. Oh, that's why I was only counting one for the jumping. So that's where I was off. So that's eight. Right. So it is eight because from there you. T I mean, take another look. But from yeah. up there, I think he can see. Yeah, I can see his leg. His you can arms, see all the way down so. to like his ankles. Yeah. Just not his one leg, and so. So you need eights, Tom. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it doesn't happen. It doesn't wow. Happen. So I don't get that. But I, I will say, Thor, um, the Malthus can still the summoner. Shoot. He does have a shot on. He does have a shot. He'll have yeah. cover. Um, it won't be as epic. He's also in long range. Mm -hmm. So that's he's a two. Um, he walked, so he didn't do anything crazy. He's a four, five, eight. He needs eights too. So I'm doing aerial accurate. No way. Really? Yeah, he's a two, a four, five. Oh, because he's is he closer range? No, he's still long. Okay, so three, right? So well, then two, cover would be nine. This isn't the bloodstalker, right? Two, four. S oh, he didn't jump. Third. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what did what do you need? Seven. Eights. Eights. Eight. Don't you? Y'all seem. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. Eights. <laughs> that's a little better. So he at least gets one. He gets one pip. Now that doesn't go into structure. Okay. All right, now, before, before we Are we go... sure it's eight? Hold on. He's a two, four, yeah, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Let me just measure. It's not 12 inches. No. There's no way it's 12 inches. <laughs> All right, so okay. before we even go any further, the helicopter is destroyed, right? And before I do my retaliatory shooting, let's just, let's just play this out. Uh, you get how many points? One, two, three, four. Right, four because you have these elementals. We can probably see them on the sky camera. Yeah. Tucked in here, which are controlling, like this exactly. this slice here, right? right? The timber. So you have one, two, three. You have four. I can only get three at this point. What do you have to get three? One, two, and three. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he's got the yeah. The one. Yeah, and you kept him on the right side of the correct. Line. Correct. He's he's in that in that space now. If I killed your timber wolf, would that change? We'd be even. Not you. No, I wouldn't get a point this turn. All right, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, play it up. Uh, because yeah, that's, even if you just get him in force because of or something. Right, that could be huge. Yeah. Now, so this is this is what it comes down to. Because here's the thing: I don't want to waste time. If I shoot both of these guys at Malthus, I can't kill him. I'm only doing four pips at most. He's got eight. Right, he's got a ton. I would need to do six to put him in force withdrawal. Executioner's not even touched. Not even touched. Yeah, so I mean, the timber so comes down has, to this right here. Yeah, he has 10 pips left, but only six of armor, right? You know, okay. so. And so he, he, he can, can shoot. Yep. So we're going to start, we're going to start with the helicopter, Tom. Yeah. Uh, last stand of the warrior. So he's three, four, five. What, um, does the Marauder have indirect fire? Does not. Okay. All, all, uh, all cannons, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, okay. So three, four, five. I need eights with them with the warrior. Here we go. Gets it. Okay. So one, one point with the warrior. Now, uh, I'm gonna measure range here. Here I can. Okay. You got it. Okay. We'll go to the sky cam, and what does it say? It says extreme range. Twenty three. It says extreme range, guys. I don't, so yeah. I need to get a through armor critical here, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, if you, uh, yeah, he doesn't have any crits, but yeah, you but you have five or something like that. Classic Timberwolf with, with his gobs just, of armor. I can't, it was funny, I didn't realize how no, he has more armor than the summoner. It's an insane amount of armor, yeah. Timberwolves are, that end rate is crazy. Okay, can I get a 12, Tom? This is it for the game. Reroll that six. <laughs> just I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll all my dice for the entire game. Tom, we'll just replay this weekend. So guys, this is it. This is the bitter end. I mean, we fought this tooth and nail. I was ahead. However, Tom, you have forced me off this rock. Because here's the thing: we're going into turn nine after this. Yeah, we have two more turns. Right? You can basically hide the timber wolf or you can move the nova you can do a bunch of things right to get your forces well, to play i mean i can contest this just by putting somebody into there 
Malthus right. basically can jump into here, right? So I don't even have to necessarily kill anybody, but I can negate that, and I can still have the Executioner, and the Elementals are here to cap. So yeah, exactly, the yeah. Elementals are, are there to cap. Yeah, so I'm pretty strong on this side. Um, this side, same thing, like the Nova, or I'm sorry, the Timberwolf could probably sustain another round against... Another round, you know, yeah. And keep firing at you, I could probably bring him up. Yep. Oh, he's, I'm sorry, he's, he's in force withdrawal. So force withdrawal. Just keep the elementals hidden. Yeah, just keep the elementals hidden. You're going to lock that down. The Timberwolf yeah. can continue to move away and around in that quadrant. Yeah. I can have him up here just... Right, he doesn't even down. need to contest again because you have the elementals. You're basically covering all of the corners yeah. with the Nova, the elementals, right? So he can move right through the dead zone and he can get out into here and start contesting. And I can start actually killing your mechs too, which you don't want for the campaign. No, right. So I'm gonna if declare you just... a full retreat. <laughs> yeah, <if you're> just... <laughs> below the horn. Yeah, because it's gonna get bloody. Um, because I am closer to the edge, I think, than any other than, than other mechs. Because we, we you maintained pretty good range this game. I mean, the, the amount of extreme range damage these mechs do. We'll talk in the recap. All right. It's well, ridiculous. let's uh, let's wrap this thing up. This was a good one. All right, here we are on the battlefields of Alina, this abandoned mining town. Struck once by catastrophe, now struck again, despite help and uh, meddling from the resistance forces. Clan Jade Falcon mounting a, a vicious defense of this area uh, after falling prey uh, to the Lyran uh, assault in the first mission here of the campaign. So this one's all wrapped up. Jade Falcon is the victor. That means Tom gets to pick the next mission. Tom picks the, the, the escalation level. It's gonna be good. Maybe we can get Tom and Dan in the studio. That'll be good stuff. All right, well guys, we're gonna go into the after action report, so don't go away. Guys, there it is, all wrapped up. Oh man, that was a, it was a long game. That was a long game, and that was a bitter fight to defend. Eight turns or something. Eight, eight turns. Uh, we went fully, you know, and basically, right, because you scored that point in turn eight, and I didn't have enough, you were going to score nine and ten, and it ended up as a three to two game. Yeah. Um, so it was really well done. I mean, that was brilliant. And, you know, we were talking about before the game, like the clans really are at a disadvantage in Alpha Strike. I, I, I know people don't believe it. It's true, like... You have to be really careful. You have to, be, you have to get really, caught. Really, really careful. I, you had at least two turns in a row with poor damage rolls. Or I, like, I did. No, I had that one. It was awful. And that's it. Like, as, as long as the clans can survive, they lay down so much firepower each turn yeah. that, like, it catches up to the inner sphere mechs mm -hmm. or to their opponents, whoever they are. But it, it's survivability. And I was saying... You know, it takes a certain style of play to be successful with the clans. You have to be very patient and it's super hard, Sorry. but like you can see where, you know, I realized like you have all this firepower, you want to run out and just start blowing stuff up, but you're a paper, you know, you're just going to get shredded. Yeah. And so I had to hide behind the buildings, you know, isolate mechs, take them out. And then once I have, you know, pack, if it's like one to one, then I think clan can really start to, to, you know, and then, then all of a sudden the executioners jump in and Malthus is coming out of the forest and we're like, ah, woo! Ah, ah. Yeah. I thought you used the elementals really well. Um, having four of them was huge. One, because you used them as body armor early on yeah. and didn't just drop them in the back, um, which is probably honestly what I would have done. Um, so I thought you did it better. Uh, keeping them on there, let them, let them take some damage. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, and we had talked when we were uh, laying out the... The designs and you're like oh you can fit another mech on here if you want and i i didn't want to do that because of that reason you know the fact oh, the that force build yeah yeah th there's two there's three there's three ways i think about the elementals one is as meat shield mm -hmm. especially with clans um there it's it's a really good way i mean you hit 
elementals four or five times. Oh my god. You know what I mean? Like, like I did one, two. Six times? Something like that? Yeah. That one reverse engine hit that like yeah. didn't actually happen. Yeah, that was happen. huge. The like elementals. The, like the auto cannon rounds going right for the engine, the elementals like, no, <laughs> yeah. take me instead. Right, and, <laughs> the, and then and then there's the um, the second part is where you can like tactically drop and, and reattach them mm -hmm. as you need. Yeah. So, you know, when the situation is correct, like when I was trying to get just as many shots on the helicopters as I could, drop them off, the helicopter does one pip, I'm not yeah. worried about it. Not worried about you know, it. and then they jump back on, I move on. Um, and if we had gotten into like close range and they can do mech attacks, it's, it's nice. Yeah. So, um, and then the third way is the cheesy way. And I had said, I really try not doing it when you're doing mission play, especially like a capture uh -huh. area objective, you can just drop them and cap stuff and like uh -huh. really frustrate your opponent. Similar, similar to the helicopters, but I think it's just a degree. A, it's not how elementals are meant to be played. They're, right. they're not infantry. Right, right. They're not like... And they're planners. Right. They're not just standing around like smoking the cigarettes. Like, like you know... <laughs> Cigarette. Yeah. <and> qualm. <laughs> yeah. A cigar. It was more like a vape. It's just all this like steam coming out of the thing. But, you know, so I was, I was trying I was trying not to pull that out until I really needed to. And like right. the cheese factor went off the board. But, um, and even then your helicopters were there. And, yeah. and that was the other thing I was going to say too. I, I knew from you talking about how Dan was so effective with the helicopters yeah. that you were going to pull them deep into my territory. They're just so good. And then, again, yeah. they could take out those elementals pretty easily. You know, they can, yeah, I mean, they, where they can hammer them down yeah. Yeah, over time. So, so if sure. I had played that cheese, you could have prioritized just... And then I would have lost those, you know, which... I And they really paid off in the end because then I knew where to drop them when I could finally stabilize. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't like a game. Yeah. It, it wasn't a cheese factor at that point, I don't think. There were, there were a couple, I think three turning points for me where like, it went from like bad to worse to like awful. Um, you know, the first one was when the quick draw came around the corner and then just got obliterated. It, I mean, it, it was got... like 42 crits, like, you know, <laughs> lost all of his weapons. Like I was like, crap. I think I had more crits than I was allowed to take, right? I, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was right. You rolled like multiple, multiple sixes. Um, yeah. you know, and it's a 10 pit mech. Like it's not a. It's not a wuss, like it, it can take some damage, but yeah. nope. Uh, the second was when you had that a longer extreme range shot across at the Marauder and put it into force withdrawal. Yeah. Did you do an engine hit on that? I don't know. Um, maybe something like that. So yeah. many things took engine Fire hits. control. <clears throat> I don't even yeah. I don't remember, but that oh, was, it was bad. yeah. He did get an engine hit, I'm pretty sure. And then the last one was where you you hit the archer. You still have four pips of structure. I was like, excellent, because I just put your vulture in force withdrawal. I'm gonna win this. Quadrant, yeah. that would have sealed the game. Honestly, that headshot, that 12, I think that won the game. Yeah, you. I wouldn't have, yeah, you would have been up another point, I think. And then yeah, that would, I, right, because we tied that round. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good, man. You played it really, really well. I'm not, you know, I mean, I think yeah. there, there, there was, uh, do you think you could have been more, actually, I don't think you could have been, but like with aggressive with the medium lands? No, with, uh, what's his name? Um, they, it's a three, five. It doesn't move that fast. Well, and, and if you had that executioner was, Nasty and just waiting. I was waiting. I like, know you were. The, I I'd said in, in the game, but that really was my tactic is to make that side strong, and I thought you maybe would come in. Yeah. And then I could, with all the I I was like oh you know all these jump jets I can really take advantage of that mm -hmm. that outcropping, which didn't really work out that way. But thankfully I was still close enough. I, I got I I pushed the summoner a little bit too far. To the right or to the yeah, right. Yeah, but edge, I think you yeah. would have I think you would have telegraphed if I had stayed a little bit too close. So I kind of yeah. So it worked out, but No, I thought you played it like perfectly. Yeah. But it was really just I mean I my, I don't want to sound like a tactical genius. It was the dice rolls. I was crushing no, no. the damage. Well I you mean, you were. You had crushing. You, you had a good I won every single that killed initiative. Me. I was gonna just bring that up. Every single initiative. So hard. I think I did significant damage every turn. At yeah. least to one mech or yeah. something. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it happened. But you know what, dude? This is what happens. Yeah. Comes around the table. But that's um, but but I'll say too, it's it's the clan mechs. Like they're doing three damage at extreme range. I know. All of them. All of them do it. I didn't pull punches with the force design either. Like yeah. I had the Archer Four M, which is tough. Like so yeah. much damage. Then the Night Star is nasty. Um, it really but is. But yeah, you kept it out of the fight. But the thing was, like, I I wasn't too concerned because it had, you know, I had board control yeah. with it. I couldn't I was do anything on points that side. with it. 
Yeah. Right. I really had to just wait. But it was when I tried to breach, you know, I yeah. made the joke, like, the, the quick draws on breach, and he's like, go! Oh, and he just got, like, <laughs> obliterated. Yeah. I mean, you, sy- you, you systematically to took down the other three mechs in that Night Stars Lance. There was... Yeah. And that was... Because I was going to try to flush you yeah. out, you know? Yeah, no. that, that was getting the initiative. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, because if, if you had successfully gotten into that side through that little channel the yeah. night star i would have been flushed out the night star would have been just crushing just, everybody yeah, just yeah. annihilating things yeah. well so anyway it was it was really fun it was yeah. a very fun game i was on um, i was on um you know uh tender hooks i loved it the whole game loved it. it was awesome i hope you guys enjoyed it too a couple of quick things before we wrap up number one uh if you want to yeah. get battle tech stuff go on over to aries games and minis we talked about it go in the game talk about it again uh, everything you need. Derek is the man. I love, things love are it. shipped, or, or they're packaged properly and shipped yeah. really yeah. quickly. He, he really, yeah. he's a gamer. He cares. He cares. Yeah. And for those of you guys that are out of the country, I know shipping sucks right now. That's not his fault. Um, there's really nothing we yeah. can do about it. Um, it is awful. I wish I could ship things to you, but I cannot. Yeah. Um, now, that said, second that thing, Terrain of Fire, we talked about it. Love them. I um, definitely check them out. So Don't forget. Good. So good, right? I mean, I had to use it again because I love it. Uh, Death 25 gets you 25% off uh, their store. You can check the, the description uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the, the video there for the link. Um, Patreon. Well, I was going to say, I mean, there's there's the tip. If you if you like this... The, the super you, like? Yeah, the super like. The super thanks? The super thanks. thanks. Yeah. Super I mean, thanks. If you don't want to get into the Patreon game... You yeah. know, even a dollar, you know, with the thousands of views we have, it adds up. It helps. All these cameras cost all the terrain, terrain, right? right like yeah. everything, the mechs, right? All, all, all costs money. So yeah. and, um, and more and more stuff keeps getting released. You want to see the new stuff? You know, we gotta buy it too. So yeah, we gotta buy it. Um, we gotta get it painted. All that. Support stuff. what you watch. Yeah, yeah. You know? Love. It. And then if you like Patreon, I'm going Patreon. I know. It's the Discord cool. server's hopping, Tom. The Discord we have our own now. It's it's, it's a integrated with Patreon. It's yeah. very cool. Um, all are welcome, but the, the patrons have special access in there as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's very cool. And then of course you get all the other the other goodies. My only fans. And Tom's only. <laughs> that's only at the elite tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The elite tier. I actually put that in a poll. I was like, you know, what 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 what, what do you care about at the elite tier? And I was like, Tom's only. You got no votes. Nobody wants to see. Nobody wants that. that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Oh. I should be thinking about it. <laughs> oh my God, too funny. All right, well, that's that, guys. Uh, Tom, any closing thoughts, sir? Uh, no, no, uh, it's, nothing. It's, it's late. Guys, stay tuned for it's round three. We're going to try to get Dan and Tom in the studio. We'll see. If not, I'll play whichever force uh, for the person who's not there. But we're going to try to get a throwdown. This well, so, could, could be the deciding game of the campaign, yeah. especially because you won. You know, and you won decisively. Two lances are going to be out of commission, I think. So I'm going to have limited up to bring in the command lance with bubbles. The banshee. Oh, I hate bubbles. Tom's arch nemesis. But this execution so treated me really well, so I might. You you have not. Oh, the vulture took an engine hit. Vulture's real hurt. Real but you could replace you could replace that with the support points that you have. Yeah. And just but refill the lance. The timber. The nova's kind of beat up too, but not like. No, no, nothing serious. It'll yeah. be back in action. So, yeah. well, guys, we'll see. Round three's coming up. He needs to get, like, a little bit of stripe or something going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, have a great night. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay tuned. Great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. See you soon.